Josh are off and finally, finally. This is your boy N A O N A A. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is definitely Militainment Crazy Wall. Drink champs. Drink champs combined. You confusing right now. the fuck out of people. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Militainment Crazy Wall is, so nice. is the S okay. is the essence of drink champs. Where it started. <coughs> and this is drink champs. And right now, you know, I usually do a long illustrious intro, but I'm gonna let them introduce themselves because this does sound like. The star of like a great joke. <laughs> what I mean by that is they say they say a black man, two black guys walking the, the drink chest with a white guy that loves college. You know what I'm saying? This sounds like the beginning of a great joke, but it's not. But I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. We're gonna get into everything. Let's go. Let's start from you. Yo, my name is West Coast. Blue, her favorite color, straight from LA. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And not a crip. Uh, no. That, that, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I but I don't be banging on people. You okay, know what I mean? okay, okay, okay. Now, Nikki Fax from the Bronx, New York. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Legendary MC. Okay. Um, I'm the white guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell. We can't tell. Yes, you're off. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just let's go straight for the elephant in the room. All of y'all was on. The XXL cover. The second yeah. one, right? The second one. The second year. one. Second right, one. Yeah. The second one. The second one ever? Ever? All yeah, of them? Yeah, okay. So. Okay, wow. 2017? 20, 2009. 2009? Yeah. Why did I say 17? Um, yeah. And who else was on this cover? Uh, Cuddy. Uh, Wale. Wale. Okay. Corey Guns. Corey Guns. Currency. Yeah. It was it was an open layout. Currency. Right? Currency. It opened yeah. up. The yes. Ace Hood. Ace Hood. Wow. Is there. this the first time you guys met each other? No. Uh, no. We, we was... We was. This is the first time I met Blue at, at the um, XXL. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. But yeah, but uh, I had we had did like a show or two. Together. Yeah. That's so how the hell is that? How, uh, it was it was fun. I mean, uh, like it was something new because the internet had just changed. And and you filmed this in New York. Yeah, we did that in New York. So it was a you know the double XL cover. You know, like. Uh -huh. But the first one that they did with, with the other guys, that, that felt like that was like the old guard of what uh -huh. hip hop was going into. And right. then we came and we were embracing the internet. You know what I'm saying? It's actually, right. the first first cover that they ever did was that was the source cover. I was a part of that. With yes, me, it was. That's right. Me, pun, pun. I never thought it was like a freshman type joint. Yeah, that's it, what, it was. It was a freshman. It was. It was. And then the source kind of went out of business. And I believe, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, um, that's, that's just true. And then, um, and then the XXL picked it up. The XXL did, did it. They actually named it something. It was called the freshman class. So you guys being the, well, part of the second shit. Right. Like, like, is that? Do you know? Do you know what this is at the time when you guys are filming this? Yes. Oh, you know. You, you know, know this is gonna be legendary. You know I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. On the cover of Double XL, man. Like uh -huh. Classic. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. And we had, we had, it's just all of us, we had our own fan bases at the time because, mm -hmm. again, we was embracing the internet. Nobody was uh -huh. really trying to get online like that. And mm -hmm. all of us had big fan bases from just putting our music online. Shout out to all the blogs back in the day, Now yeah. Right, yeah. Two Dope Boys, mm -hmm. you know, World Star Hip Hop at the time was just starting. Mm -hmm. And we was at the forefront of all of that, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And mm -hmm. Asher, he, he was doing the stuff with drama, right. you know what right. I'm saying? And then, because, um, because it was like three different covers, right? Yeah. It was like, um, the main cover. Then it was a, 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 a second like cover. Up, uh, yep. So how mad was y'all at Asher Wolf at the time for him getting the main cover? White privilege. So just be, <laughs> just, 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 just throw it up there. How mad was y'all at The white guy made you cover. Man. What happened? Like, how mad was y'all? Come on, let's keep it real. I wasn't mad at all. I was just I was happy to be on the cover. It was just You're like, be there. I was happy to be there. I was mad at DMX and Corrupt. And, um, who, who was the main cover? It was DMX, Corrupt, and I forget. Was cannabis, was, can, was it Cam? 
I think well, was it Silk the Shocker? It was, oh. it was Silk the Shocker. So we got yeah, Silk the Shocker. Oh, Silk the Shocker beat me in every category. <laughs> and every every award show, he's always beating me. Silk the Shocker, bro. I, this is this is the best. Like, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I had a, I had an argument with Benzino about nothing of this. Right. Like, I just brought this shit up. He let Silk the Shocker beat me. Yeah, <laughs> in the Silk Awards, he's like, what the fuck does this got to do with it? I've been hurt. I've been hurt. I've been hurt. So Silk the Shocker be waiting for you. Okay, boom, well, boom. So. Like, you know, honestly, you didn't know these guys at the time. Was there, was, because, you know, it, it, it is the main cover. Like, like, um, was there any, like, you know, like, does this belong? Because y'all are all competing against each other. Let's just be clear. And they're putting y'all in that category to compete with each other. So was there any, like, you know, thought of that? Uh, I was just happy Jay Electronic wasn't there. Oh, oh shit. Sure. <laughs> I thought he was going to be on there, so okay. I was a little nervous. You know what I mean? Right. Why? <laughs> I think he a beast. Like man. he was the biggest wow. you know what I mean? out of the bunch and yeah, he would have been like, on there. Like, you know what's you crazy? I was listening to his shit today, but ironically, just walking around and his shit just came on. He's uh, like a fucking ghost, right? Like no one really knows anything about him, but you know about him. Yeah. Right. But you don't really know about him, right? Like he's like one of those like mysterious guys, right? Yeah. So you was happy he wasn't there. Let's make some noise for you. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. But well, um, okay. So I, I asked him, bro, you love college. <laughs> I did. You did. Yeah, I had a good run. It was fun. What did you take Adderall? No, I did no. once, and like that's a hell of a drug. Okay, so yeah. it's like a limitless pill. Uh, not really. It's just uh, like limitless. You said you never seen the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, listen, I'm gonna be honest. All yeah. my, all my, um, my, my good white friends who used to do cocaine. Good ones. The good ones. Yeah, there's some bad ones. They're not them. <laughs> um, but um, my good ones that used to do cocaine, they switch to Adderall and they love it. Yeah, oh, see, I'm not promoting Adderall, by the no, way. No, for like, sure. Just, well, just, I know. think that goes to show it's kind of a hell of a drug. Yeah. And like. I mean, people use it for focus and everything like really? that. Really? I wasn't... To study. Yeah, to study yeah. and shit like that. Right. Um, but it's also, like, it's crazy that that's what we give kids with ADHD. Like, here, take this. Right. Like, to get, like, like it's prescribed? Yeah, yeah, like, immediately. Right. It's like, here's Adderall Ritalin. And, I, you know... And that's, then get surprised that they're addicted to it later? Yeah, or, like, end up doing some other wild shit right. later in life when you're, you start out Adderall, Adderall at 13 years old. So, who, so. so how you was thinking about white girls? What drugs did you use? What drugs? Yeah, what drugs alcohol, you man. Just alcohol? Yeah, yeah, that's man. it? That's it? That's hell of a drug. Yeah, yeah alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, alcohol. Now, I'm bouncing around, I'm fucking with y'all. Because we asked you earlier, your favorite color has to be blue. Yeah, right. Your name <laughs> is blue. Yeah. Now, what neighborhood are you from exactly? Um, I'm from the Van Ness, you know what I mean? Van Ness? Yeah, I'm from like where Bloods be at, but I'm blue, you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. But, you know, I'm like, I'm in the 50s off of Western, you know what I mean, Slauson? And the 60s is obviously... Right next door. Okay, wow. You know what I mean? Wow. So, yeah. So, I, because of that, I'm straight. You know okay. I mean? So, <laughs> did, did, did you get away with wearing blue because you like a millennial, or...? Um, <laughs> no, nah, I actually moved to San Pedro. So then, all I used to wear was blue. So they called, started calling me blue. Wow. You know what I mean? And where's San Pedro for people that San don't? Pedro is the port of L.A. Okay. You know what I mean? South. Wow. A little south of L.A., down wow. to the water. Wow. The port, San Pedro. Mm. Mm. Now, Mickey Fax. What's up? What's you're up? You're on some real... Like, I've been listening to a couple of your freestyles. Right. And you're really trying to teach financial... What, what, what is the proper word for it? Financial literacy. Financial literacy. Right. I mean, he's also a college kid, right? Didn't you go to law school or something? Yeah, oh, you yeah. love college too? What kind of drugs did you take? I didn't love, like, I didn't like college. <laughs> you didn't like college? I, didn't I went like to college, but mine was in jail. I didn't like it neither. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't what graduate, I dropped out. Okay. I went to NYU, I dropped out. I didn't, I NYU? Like, yeah. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I didn't like it. So, Why? Because it was, I couldn't focus. So that Adderall thing that he was talking about, like, right. I, I, could, I could resonate with that. Because right. I was taking, I was drinking cappuccino with triple shots of espresso trying to stay but away. But NYU was that downtown, correct? Yeah, that was downtown. That's like on 30th, what is it? I was, I was even further down. I was like NoHo. Oh, wow, NoHo. Okay, North, right. North, North, North Soho. Okay, go ahead. So I was doing right. that, and I was falling asleep in class, and that's oh, when so I, it was you with the Adderall. I didn't have that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, um, I was I was drinking cappuccino with, with espresso, and I was still mm. falling asleep in, in class. Mm. So at that point, I was like, "Fuck it!" I I, I quit my job. I dropped out of school, and I was like, "I'm gonna just do hip hop." Wow. And that's where I'm at right now. Wow. But <laughs> but you but I, when I'm listening to your rhymes, are you talking about investing into real estate? What yeah. is, what, what, what 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 are we talking here? I mean, like, 
I talk all of that finance. I like. I, uh -huh. I feel like just as artists, like me, uh -huh. Blue, Asha, and, and all the artists that's coming up under us, we just need to know what to do with you know our money because we mm. don't have pension. Everybody plans. needs to know. Everybody right. needs Below to know, but especially yeah. us because right. we're independent contractors. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we don't we don't have the the luxury of a pension plan. We don't have mm. the luxury of a health insurance. Mm. We don't have the luxury of a retirement plan. We don't mm. have the luxury of any of this stuff. Mm. So and. For me, I took it upon myself to be like, let me teach myself this stuff, and if I'm gonna right. teach myself this stuff, I'm gonna put it in rhyme format right. so people can learn it. So the first thing I did was I went on Flex, and I did uh, I did the credit freestyle on Flex. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the credit, that's right. And then that's when it just went viral constantly. You know, people keep picking it up. Did but you see me, the people jet skiing in the Bronx? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, that's, that's what we do, man. Yo, like, did you see that? <laughs> oh my God! Like, soon as there was a flood in New York, soon as I knew, like, without me even looking, huh. the footage just came up, they said, Oh, they in the streets? Uh, yeah, they had jet skis in the streets in, in New York City. That's dope, though. But as soon as they said, yo, they jet ski, you know, I said, I didn't even have to look. That's the Bronx. I said, that's the Bronx. <laughs> but I'm sorry I'm bouncing around, but... No, no, no. Um, I mean, that is probably one of the most creative places on Earth. Like, some of the creative people I know come from the Bronx, and I'm not talking about artists. I'm talking about probably the most illest criminals in the world. <laughs> you know, are the most creative in the in the Bronx. Right. This is real shit. Ralph Lauren from the Bronx. Really? Mm. Yeah. The same Ralph Lauren. Hold up. Pur purple Rain, He's, Purple label, nigga. He's from the Bronx. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know, pun. Uh huh. Puns yes. from the Bronx. Yes, of course. You know, he uh he actually tried to when he was working on his second album. Mm. My father had a house in the Bronx. Wow. And Pun wanted to rent the basement apartment mm. to just the right rhymes. Mm. In the apartment, and we still had wow. we still had his uh, application his, that he wow. filled out, wow. and my father was like, "Yeah, so I'm gonna need to see uh, three pay stubs <laughs> <laughs> before we rent." And, and Paul was like, "What, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Exactly. I, exactly. I, could, I could give you, I could pay up the money exactly. up front." Right. And my father was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna still need pay stubs." And wow. I was like, "Get the fuck out of here! I'm out wow. of here!" You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, yeah, shout out to Pun. You know. Wow. Now, um, ask you. You have every 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 person who came after Eminem mm -hmm. somewhat has to follow they shadow. It's, it doesn't matter whether you have an Eminem style or you don't. Uh, whether it's you, Bubba Sparks, uh, uh, Jack Harlow, that's his name. Mm -hmm. I say it right. I think so. Yeah. Come on, man. Somebody, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Jack, Jack Harlow. Um, Y'all always get compared to the to the to the Slim Shady. Sure. Is that something that you, you, when you first hear it, you say, "I right, cool, that's great," or that's something you'd be like, "Man, I'm so different, I don't want to be compared." I mean, it's tough. At the end of the day, it's kind of just right. it's banter, it's media, it's uh -huh. like people have to talk about something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, M is generational uh -huh. as far as his like appeal and the numbers he was doing right. and there's kind of like a white rapper quota there's only right. allowed to be so many in right. the mainstream like before beastie boys third yeah, base after it's, that it's just like so it's, it's a like black actors in hollywood you no know? bones it's only but allowed also, to be a couple like a, as a white rapper you are uh, like yes when you bring up beastie boys uh third base like part of the culture sure but also a visitor at the same time especially mm -hmm. a kid mm -hmm. coming from the burbs i'm i'm a product of mm -hmm. uh, hip hop and rap music and what it's been able to accomplish and right. the voices that they've been able to you know put on a platform and inspire kids like myself right. um, you know m was part of that uh, you know that group of people who we listened to and like oh cool like i guess i can i can rhyme too but as far as um, even just who I am as a person, rhyme style, everything like that. For me, it was just kind of in one ear, out the other. That was for other people to discuss. Right. But so you never got I into it with like Machine Gun Kelly? No. But he never threw a shot at you? I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, you gotta think a little better. <laughs> I don't know. He <laughs> can't like, shots at everybody. Every white guy? No, he throws shots at every white guy. This is a fact. Who, Machine Gun Kelly? No, Eminem. Oh, oh no, he, yeah, he, uh, he threw a shot at Yeah, he threw a shot at me. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said the Machine Gun Kelly. No, no, come on. Yeah, oh, no, come yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, M threw a shot at you? Yeah, yeah he throws like, not really, but yeah. Yeah. What, what, how does it feel? Because, like, like one thing for sure, two things for certain. When 50 Cent disses you, what yeah, it's like complimentary. hurts or not, it's still a compliment in yeah. there. Is yeah. that is that something like you felt like? Yeah, kind of. Okay. It's like a it's like a bench a benchmark. But okay. for me, man, my focus is so much on like 
you know, education and even where I'm at in Philadelphia, it wasn't ever about like, let me get into beef with somebody and sell right. more records. Right. If I was a little bit more into the entertainment industry right. and a little bit uh, more understanding of that even, like, oh, let me let me beef with this. It'll, it'll put me on a little bit more of a pedestal. Mm. I can sell more records, right. et cetera. But that was never really my goal. Right. And so... I've actually shied away from the entertainment side of things right. just to be able to do what was kind of in my focus for better or for worse, man. Kind right. of kind of to a default. Because right. those are just moments versus you're trying to build your- Sure, I mean sustainability right. to me right. and like for all of us sitting here, that's right. what we've always wanted to do. If you do it right, you could do it till you're sixty. Right. I mean, dude, look right. what you've been able to do. What God damn it, you swap too right today, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is uh, this is the odd bunch. I would love the y'all to do a record a compilation together called the odd bunch. First of all, do y'all know what the odd bunch is? Do you know the odd couple. The odd couple. The odd couple. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what the odd couple yeah. is? Yeah. It's like that need to be remade. Yeah. In hip hop. <laughs> so. So you thinking this then, but the trio? This the is them. Trio? This is them. Come it's on. I'm white, isn't it? No, no. It's just because even when I Google you, you got Britain. Britain. What does it say? He Britain. What? Written an Irish in your system. Oh wait, how did you know that? Because <laughs> I used Google. the computer, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, oh, that's not nothing that's known. That's not nothing that's known. No, out there? I don't got Irish. In oh, that's what it said. I swear to God, we be good. You're lying on you. <laughs> that's me. That's me. Oh, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you do, you do have Britain in you, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, this is different. This is different. So, you know, I'm trying to, you know, this is actually something I can see, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Okay, moving on, moving on. Mickey Facts. What's up, man? You coming from the Bronx, the Bronx, the yep. Bronx, the Bronx. Yeah. You signed to actually bust the Rhymes label, correct? No, I don't know why. Conglomerate, it pops up. I, I didn't I didn't sign the conglomerate. Okay. I was signed to Jive Records, Jive and Battery Records with Jeff Sledge and your guy, okay. Bill Levine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You I got a couple of checks there. too. Let's make some money for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I, because I remember you on other, what labels were you on? Yeah. I did I did the job deal mm-hmm. and then I did the RCA deal. Okay. When Jive folded. Wow. Because Barry Weiss, he went to Def Jam. Okay. So when he and he started Jive. Mm-hmm. So that whole label just kind of catapulted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else. So I'm on a label with Chris Brown and Justin Timberlake, and people think I got dropped, but I actually got moved and got a new deal with RCA, just wow. like everybody else. Wow. But it was a whole new team and it was a whole new system. Wow. So they didn't believe in me the same way that they believed in me. One of the people that signed you, basically. Right. right. They wanted right. the people that signed me. So it was it was tough. Right. So, you know, I had to reach out to a couple people to kind of get some records. You know, I reached out to John Legend and Yellow Wolf and Lupe and Swiss Ooh. to try to kind of give me the cosign. But I noticed you didn't say Asher Wolf. I didn't say Asher Wolf. He, he I didn't reach out, reach out to Asher Wolf. Yellow Wolf, man. Looks like the shit is going on. I swear. I just swear. I just swear. I just I just swear. I just swear. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's just to kind of get the mm-hmm. A&R at that time, mm-hmm. you know, to, to help push this forward. Right. So, you know, we, we I hired um, L.A. Reed's son, Anthony Antonio Reed. Okay, I remember him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And and we we tried to, you know, make this thing happen. But right. even the, before I even played the John Legend record, right. like, the end, I was like, before you play this record, I'm not a fan of John Legend. Mm. So it doesn't even matter. Damn. <laughs> John Legend was on tour with Sade. He had no, a day I like off. the A&R's honesty. No, I don't like that. <laughs> then push me on to somebody else, nigga. Like, cause, cause that's not fair. To, that's not fair to me. You have somebody's life in your hands. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what? Even though I do understand the A and R's position, right? I do understand where you're coming from too. But me, I've been lied to so much outside of my face. I would love to be told the truth to my face, <sighs> whether it's harsh reality. Before like, you even play a record. Yeah. So you wouldn't even yeah, like. That's not even telling the truth, though. That's a Grammy yeah, award. You got a bias going into this it. This is a Grammy yeah, award winning producer. Yeah, but that's real. Like, if, if you tell me, yo, like, if you tell me, yo, bro, whatever you about to play from Pharrell, I, I, I don't like it. He can tell it. you that, but if I'm it's gonna stop, then it's say, cool. Then even stop if it. Pharrell is selling millions of records. I like people with integrity, though. I like people who never say that. Like, yo, that's he tells it. you that. What happens? That's Does it stop them? The I play a song. I play a song. He's like, I told you, I, I, I'm not a fan of John Legend, so I don't care. Even after, he's like, not listening. He's like, even yeah, after, even yeah. after. Because, because, all right, go ahead. So, and and John Legend, he was on tour with Shad Day at the time. Crazy. Huh. He had a day off, mm. and then on that day off, we recorded that song on that day off. Right. And then 
he, he was he hit me up, John. He hit me up. It was like, yo, you you want me to add anything else? I said, like, yeah, you can add some more ad libs. Came back in the studio, added more on another day off he had with Shad Day, and the, and for him to just say he don't like John Legend, that's nasty work. To no, me. no, I agree. I agree because um, the record never came out. Shit, I would I would have bootlegged yeah, myself. What happened? You should have played out. John Legend, I ain't gonna lie, I would have bootlegged myself. <laughs> John sure. liked the record. I thought he was gonna put it on his album, but you know. It, it, it was just bad politics dealing with that side of RCA. Wow. I told you I bootlegged myself, right? What did the, you bootleg? The, the war report? I bootlegged the oh, war report. Oh, you put that out yeah. first. No, 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 no. no. Um, after everything, I wanted to know who owned it, so I put it out. Right. And sure enough, they came. Wow. And I said, uh, yeah. now nah, I want to buy it, brothers. Come on, let's do it. I shouldn't have wow. said brothers, because they are not my brothers. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Moving on to you, sir. <laughs> West Coast, L.A. Really known for... You know, party music. It's very seldom that people base they on lyrics. Okay. No, man. I'm, I mean, we got the Razzcasters. We got the exhibits. A ton of lyricists ice cubes. out of the West Coast. We got the Ice Cubes, but... The whole Liquid Crew, Dilated, all these guys. Nah, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Shut you down quick. <laughs> I mean... Nah, they have a huge now, underground. Just because I think you're you just thinking like Snoop, Dog Pound, Cro Crooked Eyes from out there. I'm talking about, uh, come on, I mean, even game, when you use game, game is pretty, pretty, pretty much lyrical. One of my favorite lyrical, yeah. but his records that's famous, it's not lyrical. It's not lyrical. It's it's lyrical. It's not underground lyrical. LA scene that's huge. Yeah, I ain't talking about the underground, I'm talking about just overall. Well, these are where these guys come from. I'm just going to say, it's 50, 50, 50%. So what made you choose that route? What made you say, I'm going to be the guy that you got to listen to my bars? Hmm. Uh, my DJ Exile. Mm. I actually wanted to just be a spitter, but mm. he wanted me to be more like, you know, mm. like have some more uh, substance in my lyrics. Okay. You know what I mean? Like talk about something. You okay. know what I mean? So I started changing it up a little bit. You mm. know what I mean? You was gonna sign with Death Row? I saw something. Yeah. Said that. Yeah. What was that whole uh, situation? I was like 19. You know, my cousin worked for Shug. He was like engineer's engineer. You know what I mean? And what death row is this? This is this, this is when uh, corrupt was the VP. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. Crooked eye, crooked eye was on. Yeah. Uh, left eye. Okay. So it's kind of the tumultuous times of that throwing away. That's when uh, Shug got out. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So it was like he got out. And he uh, he was on. They were all on the cover of Double XL, and he said he's looking for lyricists. And I was like, oh shit. Mm. You know what I mean? What's mm. up with that? You know what I mean? Mm. And so uh, my cousin hit me up. He was like, you know, I'm working for Shug. And I was like, no shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I went down there, met up with Shug, you know what I mean? And uh, How was Shug? Shug was cool, man. You always hear that he's actually a cool-ass dude. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Shug is cool. He, he put me in front of, like, Tim Blood and was like, go. Oh. You know <laughs> that doesn't sound too cool. Uh, <laughs> I assume like, you have an all blue at this time? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Neutral colors? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is the neutral color? Just for for uh, black. All black. black. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Funeral colors. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. okay. All right. And then what happened? So you came in all black? Yeah. And then I just start barring off. I kick fifty bars, sixty four, and then a mm. hundred. You know what I mean? And wow. Uh, he was like, "Yo." He was like, uh, "What's?" He was like, "Coming to my office." And I was right. like, "All right." So I went into his office. Because you know like, the infamous, if you, they don't like what you're spitting. Yeah, I know, you know what I mean? You get pounded I mean, out. I knew to an extent, you know what I mean? Right. But, Is uh, that true? You get beat up? Yeah, that? I mean, that's what I've that's heard. Have you, haven't you heard that? Then, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, no, I heard when you, they put you in a, in a circle or something really? like that, yeah. You was in a circle? <laughs> you wasted no, our time? Okay, all right, cool, go ahead. He brought me to the cafeteria, and then he took me to his office and was like, what you want? And I was like, a house and a car, you know what I mean? And uh, he was like, I think we can make that happen. But then I started talking to one of the homies from Long Beach, and he was like, nah, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't roll with Shug, you know what I mean? None right. of us really roll with Shug, right. you know what I mean? They was like homies with RBX, you know what right. I mean? Right. So it was like, all right, we was thinking about it. And then my boy was like, man, fuck with me, I'm going to get you signed to The Rock, you know what I mean? And I wow. was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the same right. dude that was working show? <laughs> no, no, oh, different dude. Random, you know what I mean? Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> then I met Exile, and then you know what I mean. Me and Exile start working. Exile was working with like Slum Village, Ghostface. Uh huh. Um, so Jay Dillon, though. Not Jay Dillon. Uh -huh. Elzy and T3. Okay. Right. You know what I mean? This one Dilla left. All right. But yeah. 
Oh, wow, wow. Now, Ashley, what label was that on, um, I Love College? So that got released through Steve Rifkin. Steve Rifkin, yeah, or SRC. Oh, wow. SRC. That was SRC, not loud. SRC. SRC. Wow. There was always a conversation about bringing loud back, but, you know, I'm not sure what. It was the David Banner era, right? When David right Banner. Right around that time, yeah. yeah. Wow. David's a good ass dude. Yeah, really oh, great dude. Shit. Man. Yeah, yeah, he's great a really dude. good dude to talk and, and, and sit down and chop with. And what do you call your mustache? Is it's that like a mustache? What is yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the Danny McBride. I don't no, know. No. I'll tell you though, because there's different ones. There's like, different ones. They got the handlebar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? They got the handlebar. 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 They got the Heimlich? Was it? The, the Heimlich? Heimlich? What? The Heimlich? That, that Danny McBride. Um, I'm the mullet. The mullet. The mullet. The so you're sitting at the mullet. I might, I, might, I, might run, I might run the mullet. You might should do yeah, a mullet. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, be honest yeah, with I you. I might run the mullet. Because that's like your version of Gumby. See, I'm not, I'm not that white. Like, you but, know, like... No, I, no, I, I don't no. think I could get away with the mullet. Yeah. Why? Because you're from Philadelphia? No, because, like, that's a kind of a... More of a southern a southern thing. You know what I mean? I think you I think you underestimate your whiteness. You put it the mustache. The mother will pull it off. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe so. The mustache, I'm telling you, you're yeah. killing it, bro. I thought you owned the club just now when you walked yeah. up. I was like, oh, shit, it's the partner. Yeah. It's the partner. It's the only thing that's after all. Just have a fun. Right? God damn it, yeah, it's true. God damn it, this makes a noise after all. It's about that. <laughs> no, 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 come on, it's shot time, it's shot time, let's go. Man, we, we, I don't know if y'all know, our show is about giving people their flowers, you know what I mean? I think I thought that this was marvelous that you guys formed a friendship through hip-hop, and you guys continue to have this friendship. So when I was approached with this opportunity, I jumped. we, we jumped on it immediately, but let's take shots to that motherfucker. Where's the, I'm black, black, I want watermelon to rock, brother. Um, come on, can you, get, can you pass me that, bro? Where the fuck is Mr. Lee at? Mr. Lee, come on, bro. Come on, Mr. Lee, you sleeping? Mr. Come Lee. On. <laughs> What kind of shot you want? You want to stick with the um? But you got to do a shot of it, not a drink of it. You got to do a shot glass right there. Yeah, yeah. You don't got nothing to open. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee. You doing quick time or Oh, quick time or slide? I don't know. I think he want. I think he want the maple. I think he want some of this. You want the whiskey? Exactly. I like your style. Yeah, I mean, I like your style. I like your style. Yes, I. I got this from here, brother. It's that motherfucker. We got my marijuana too. You want some marijuana? Colombian white. I'm not. Oh, you, you, you got we got whiskey too. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay dark. Man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. All right. Salud. All right. Salud. 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 Oh. You knew I was coming, huh? Pray mm. for me, y'all. Pray for me. Yes. Why, La Rubia? You look at the can. The can's La in the show. La Rubia. When would you find it? I mean, you know the end for the show. Just can. All right. All right, Ashley, you got to take another shot. It's, it's his birthday. Birthday Sorry. shot. Birthday shot. Sorry. This one's smooth, right? That's smooth, bro. Smooth? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's wait. Let's, let's wait for the homie. Birthday shot. Birthday shot. Birthday shot. Birthday shot. And this is to y'all. Salud, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, end up getting you. It will. That maple stuff too, man. This yeah. is a. If you just want the straightforward shit, that's that. Nah, I like the flavor. This reminds me of my. I like how you breaking this shit down. Yeah. I get to. Are you, are you, are you like you drink? You drink a lot? Yeah, man. I mean, I have a. I have a. Uh, um, a. Um, a, a strange relationship with alcohol because it's super destructive. You know, very, it can yes, be it is. super very fucking destructive. destructive. Yes, it and is. So, like, obviously, and I'm sure you guys do the same thing. Yeah. Encourage everybody to drink responsibly, yeah. know your limits, and, and shit balance. Like that. Keep a balance. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. but I, I love alcohol, man. I think yeah. uh, there's culture around it. It's fun. It's yeah. uh, you know, you can you enjoy yourself. I, I, I like a nice beer, right. uh, like a good whiskey and stuff like that. But it's just a matter of keeping the balance. Right. For sure. God damn, make some noise, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so Mickey Facts. What's, What's your it? favorite game of all uh, 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 this? Is it making records or is it is it is it performing? Wow, that's a good question. Um, this for uh, all of y'all, by the way. For me, it's making records. It's the art of just making records, being able to tap into certain 
and try to do something that nobody's ever done. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I get joy out of. So, like, me mm. going up to Flex and doing that credit freestyle, nobody ever did that. Mm -hmm. Me going up to Sway, rapping about comic books and, and, and video games, nobody mm. ever did that. Mm. Me rapping about a song, I, I wrote a song about the letter A without using the letter A. Mm. Nobody did that before. Mm. So that's the type of shit that I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That, that, that... How did you do that? Yo, mm. I, yo, man. I mean, <laughs> for me, like... My son was, I was on a Zoom conference call with my, uh, my old manager, Saint, shout out to Saint. And my son was a newborn, he was about seven months old. He kept, we was on the iPad, he kept pressing the letter A. Mm -hmm. He kept pressing the letter A and I was trying to tell him to stop. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna write a song about, for you about the letter A since you won't stop. So I wrote a song for him about the letter A and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna do the same shit for hip hop. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna write about the letter A, mm -hmm. the origin of it, where it came from. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it and I was like, this is cool, but like, so what? What's gonna make people care? Mm -hmm. Do that shit without using the letter A. Mm. That's what I did. I wrote a song about the letter A without using the letter A. Mm. Called it A minus. Mm. What's your favorite part favorite. of it? Is it make it a record oh, or making records? Make it records too. Definitely make it records. Uh. You know what I mean? Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about you? Make it a record or performing. I mean, I I'll I'll take team performing because yeah. like there's something about like when you make the records, you ultimately I mean one yeah, is you have to know if it works. So, yeah. So well, know. also that's like the moment where it really connects and yeah. get, leads to this. Buying right? the gun, shooting the gun. Yeah. It's just shooting part. Yeah. Okay. You get where that crowd energy. Yeah, yeah. to so feel I, that energy is crazy. Now, as you get older and you realize that touring's manual labor, you're <laughs> kind of like, I right. don't want to tour anymore. Right. You know I mean, how can I tour less or whatever it may be? But performing is rewarding as fuck. Oh, you call it manual labor? It's hard work, man. Touring is hard work. That first fucking night, bro. People don't even realize that first night, once your sleep's fucked, psh, mm -hmm. the rest of the tour, you're just like, dude, I'm. I'm piecing this Come on, together. No, you toured from here I, on I, I, I was so together. used to it. I toured. See, I really had the chitlin circuit. Like, I don't mean to sound like the old dude in the building, but, like, <coughs> really. Um, you know, the War Report, God bless, God bless me, and God bless everybody who loves the War Report, but it wasn't as luxury as people thought. Sure. Like, it went gold over a year and a half time. Right. So... What a lot of people thought is, is just, it be, was a classic. They might have called it a classic, but my pockets was not classic at all. Yeah, there sure. was nothing about my pockets that was classic, so I would have to go to whoever accepted me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get booked. Right. I would just go if a person just knew who I was. All right, cool. So that was a totally different time. It was like an infinite promo tour. Yeah, it was a yeah. Wow. Damn, that's a fucking <laughs> great. Wow. Yeah. That's a, that's a so, good. so after the, I mean, most artists after the first week get over it. No, um, what happened was I was I was we we're about to sell him crap, and Akinelli came. <laughs> when Akinelli came, and Akinelli just brought me on tour, he was just like, "Yo, you need to know," because L.A., L.A. and T.R.Y. was like pretty big deals, but it was just New York, L.A. I would say Connecticut. I don't. I wouldn't even say. And I didn't. I, well, I definitely didn't think it went to the West Coast. Right. I definitely didn't think it went to Houston, and then. What it was back then, we didn't have no Twitter, we didn't have no Instagram, we didn't have no Facebook. Right. So if something is popping somewhere else, we gotta guess it. Wow. We gotta guess it. Like, but didn't lab they, they were label reps back in the day? Yeah, yeah but label reps was, was liars. Wrong. Like, nah, come nah, on. Hey, that was one. I mean, you, you're one of the good ones. God bless you. And you know how many other scumbags well, is out there? I, I, not I mean, the label rep. I was a street No, when I say label difference. rep, when he said label rep, streets. what I mean is it, by you knowing if the record is popping somewhere or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I meant by that. Like Not, not to say like every label rep, but you know, obviously at some point you would go to somebody and say, yo, is the record working? They'd be like, what? The DJ played it five times last yeah. night. Come to find out. They, he not they, they, they ain't ever even played it. They saving their own job. Yeah, and you got to remember. You got to remember. Right now, you know, if a street team, they have to show you that they put on um, posters. Uh, the, the posters and all that. Like back then, they didn't even. They, you just, you just, I don't know what the no, fuck you, you did. Back. You took pictures back. Even just, then, it's all bullshit. Yeah. You take a picture, they'll okay. come right down. Yeah. I worked the street team once. Yeah, yeah. In, in New York. Yeah. I, that, I, I was on Loud. Okay. I did yeah. Loud, and I, I did worked Def Jam. Loud. Worked Def wow. Jam. I worked uh, on Def Jam. I worked Foxy Brown. Uh, blood is my blood in my blood for DMX. Wow. I did China Doll. And then on Loud, I, was, I did Capital Punishment, 
That's the trenches. The street teacher is the trenches, right, yeah. man. And then the loud guys, they found out that I was working with Def Jam, and it was like, you got to choose. Oh, Mad Beef. You got to oh, choose. Yeah, wow. You got to choose. Wow. So I chose loud because it's, they, they Steve Ripley, me right there. Yeah, Steve Ripley invented the street team, right? Is that, I mean, he really made it what it was for hip-hop, for sure. Right. Right. Yeah. Did you appreciate the street team when you had when you had it? I was it was 2009, you know. Right. So we had, we had moved on. I mean, uh, it was his uh, in the relationship with Scooter Braun. Right. Well, we were moving into an internet era, which is like what was so interesting about the group right here is that we had one foot in the old guard and one right. foot in the new guard. Wow. And so Great by the point. time it got to us, we're kind of tweeners. You right. know what I mean? We're kind of in between. And so hey, did you say tweeners? I could speak some <laughs> first time I ever heard. <laughs> Yeah. Real shit though. Yeah, I like that. And so that's why it's interesting because it's about having the conversation around that 2009, 2010, 2011 artists right. about what was going on because now everything's moving so fast. Right. Are we still interested in building careers that last or are we interested in just getting us the quick money? Streaming Depends like, on who you're talking to If you're sure. talking to the artist They want to last For sure. you're talking to Whoever is profiting off the artist And some artists might not You know Some yeah. artists might be like Dude give me two to five good years And I'll be If done. they're really artists Sure You know what I'm saying Because yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like There's an artist That's just like I, That looks cool Let me just do it quick and yeah. be it. But if you're into it Into the craft Yeah yeah You want to last for a while But I feel like we don't it, it, That's not rewarded Right You know mm-hmm. what I mean right. it's not, And, it's, and it's not encouraged at all mm-hmm. It's like Oh you want to take your time I remember someone talking about How like Rock Kim Right what have like two years between an album mm. and that's a standard amount of time right, right. now it's like if you're not putting out a project i would even say every three months but it's yeah. really like i want to say six months right you're you're t- i think even that's tired. too long yeah right. yeah and like how do you expect to like i mean again energetically spiritually physically right. just like uh reinvigorate yourself to be able to put out something of value and substance right. every six months and that you got to keep up on social media which is like promoting right. every single day like it's if you're promoting an album literally unsustainable especially right. if you don't have bad like, for everybody in the right, game right, right. now it's yeah. tiring it's it's ex- it's not it's just not real yeah and the people that are succeeding it's completely false it's just right. not even look you don't even look at it and they're getting all the numbers i mean Somebody who I, I'm not necessarily a fan of, but has it figured out, is that one of the was the, the Paul kids, the boxer kids. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got he had just had. Oh, this is why you're crying right now. Yeah. All right, let's no, go. He's, he's picking <laughs> them up. That's what I'm saying. Like he right. just has it figured out. Like, they do. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they do. This is, he understands the game of right now. But you're not a fan of the Pauls. So just throw it out. There. It's just like you know, okay. I I'm a, a, a fan of boxing, and like let's see where it goes. Is what I would say. And they they making fifty million dollar deals. You know what I mean? He's beating the game as is right now. So although you're not a fan, you a fan. Sure. Okay. You know, it's just. I respect that. You know, I'll never. What is it? Uh, Don't hate the player, hate the game kind of shit. Yeah, right, right. It's kind of what it is right now, and I just feel like we are perpetuating and encouraging the wrong shit. Not necessarily the wrong shit, but just like... Right. They're they're basically cutting people like us out who give a fuck right. and who are you know trying to do things like in a sustainable way and it's just like mm, no 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 moving on it's right. like drug highs let me everybody's gym society yeah. the, the other day like and um I can't say I'm a fan of Conor McGregor I can say I watched him sure. a couple of times but it just seems so much to hate he broke his fucking foot. And like no one had sympathy for this guy at all. <laughs> was yeah, like, but even him at the end with yeah. his broken foot was talking about your baby mama's in my DMs or some shit. So if you hear the deep side of yeah. the story, you know what I'm saying? He's saying some wild ass shit. Yeah, know? okay, yeah, I, right, I, I so. didn't know, but I was like, damn, nobody got a little bit of sympathy for the dude. Dude just broke his. All right, maybe it's me. I'm saying, all right, fuck <laughs> it, fuck it. This is the idea. Just everyone's used to this. Um, do you think hip hop will be here? The level it's at right now. I mean, it, it evolves. I mean, I didn't mm-hmm. think it would be where it is now, uh, but you know, I kind of had a sense of it. I mean, before I had a deal, I had a fucking Honda commercial, mm. so like I knew it was going to be going in the direction of, mm. you know, capital. But when you say Honda commercial, you, people got to know through rap. Through rap. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Yeah, I got it through rap. You mm. know what I'm saying? I had two commercials through rap. Wow. And, and how did people feel when you did that? Because I imagine back then they were probably yeah. dissing it. Yeah, they, of course they were And now it. everybody's like, because I remember when Wu Tang did the Mountain Dew shit and people were like, nah, that ain't This is that not real. It. This is not real hip hop. But, uh, you know, I'm sure their checks was crazy. They were going, yeah. I went to the mailbox every day. There was a check in the mailbox uh, every single day when I wow. And for me, you know, doing that Honda commercial, like, 
Q-Tip tried out for it. Busta wow. Rhymes tried out for it. The wow. Alphonse London, Wale. Like, a lot of people tried out you for it. You got the tri glass glasses on right oh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? That. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> yeah. And then I did the, you know, I did the, I did the commercials. And it was good for me. That was my first time going to L.A. Like, I, I never wow. even been to L.A. This was 2008. Wow. I was poor as hell. So wow. my first real checks was from Honda. And then I started wow. to, when I went on tour, after the cover came out, that's when I started making hip-hop money. Okay. But to answer your question, from that, I knew hip-hop was going to go further and further and further and further and further because it rules the world. Wow. It dictates everything. Everything wow. is revolving around our language, mm -hmm. wow. the way we dress, the way we speak. It is crazy, like, going to Europe, Japan, all of those things. When you go to those places, yeah. they love us. Yeah. And they embrace it. And, yeah. and it's, you know, we take it for granted here. It's like them. you don't even know it. It permeates everything. Like, you'll watch CNN and they talk in slang. Right. But it's so normal now it's that it normalized. doesn't seem like slang anymore. Uh, it's normal. like, that's dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I got beef with that person. Like, come on, man. You didn't talk like that 10 years ago, you know? <laughs> There's, like, literally that one dude who, who sends off catchphrases all the time <laughs> with rappers. Like, yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's a shtick. Oh, I forgot his name. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I know you're talking it's about. It's not Jake Tapper, but wow. you, did, you, you, you thought being um, coming from where you come, you thought hip hop would be as big as it is. Uh, in a way, yeah. yeah. I got into the into hip hop late. You know what I mean? Like when I was 15. Why you, you know? skateboarded? No, nah, my what, what my does that have to do with it? My stepdad. <laughs> That's why I, I got you know. You know what I mean? So never, he didn't let know. me listen to hip hop. Oh, your stepdad? What? He was a pastor, so he oh. didn't let me listen to hip hop. You oh. know what I mean? Oh, okay. And then, uh, fifteen, you know what I mean? Uh, I started listening to hip hop. Wow. You know what I mean? And uh, DMX, ninety eight. You wow. know what I mean? Oh. Wow. Um, but yeah, I I thought you know from what from fifteen getting into it, mm -hmm. I definitely saw the saw that it was going to be big. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's 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 super huge right now. You know? Oh yeah. Uh, now, this is a part of the show where we do quick time with slime. So, everybody, load up your shots. You get one, you can pick one, or you can pick two. If you pick two, you gotta take a shot. If you pick neither, you take a shot. If you, or you pick one or the other. Okay? <laughs> All right. Understand? Man, no, I don't All know right. how I did, but let's All right, cool. All right. All right, cool. You ready? Yeah. Pour yourself a shot, though, and you're, and you're yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna start with. Smicky. With you. Nas or Jay Z? Jay Z. Nas or Jay Z? Jay Z. Nas or Jay Z? Nas. All right? Everybody made it cool. <laughs> <laughs> survived. Everybody <laughs> survived. Let me just pour my shot up. <laughs> yeah, you pour your joint there? Okay. Do. This one I believe everybody's gonna take a shot. DMX or Tupac? DMX. DMX. Okay. Right. Tupac. Uh, okay. A West Coast jumped out of you. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I mean, you're from New York. Though, yeah, yeah. So. You're not taking a shot. You picked. You, you ain't got. Oh, okay. <laughs> you pick, you pick. I'm taking a shot because I'm, I'm picking both. Jump in. RPX. Hmm. Man, let's move this motherfucker along. <laughs> Ace Hood or Currency? Currency. 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 Damn, y'all niggas harsh. All right. All right. 90s or 2000s hip hop? 90s. Uh, yeah, yeah. 90s. I, I go 90s. I go 90s. Definitely 90s. All right. Podcast or radio? Podcast. Radio. Really? It's the same thing. I All right. So, it. yeah. I'm yeah. Just taking, I don't like your style. <laughs> I like, if, if one of the, that's how we do it. Yeah, we'll, 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 yeah. we'll drink with yeah, you. We'll drink with you. Come on. We ain't going to let you live by yourself, bro. All right. Oh, uh, crazy. Woo. All right. These All niggas right. crazy. Can I get a shot glass? Bro, yeah. yeah you should have been a shot glass. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um. Definitely start with you with this one. Okay. It's definitely, it's, it's definitely racial. Oh shit. <laughs> Eminem or MGK? Eminem. Eminem. Oh, that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> that was yeah. racial at all. Yeah, no, no, you know, I, was, I, I mean, it's racial. You that all white. That was yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, that was a racial. That was a racial. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's go, Mickey. Go oh, on. Marshall. Marshall. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> I'm not. It's them, bro. I'm yeah. asking you, man. No, I am, dog. All right. We're going Machine Gun Kelly, man. <laughs> we just want a drink, nigga. We're going go Machine Gun. I'm holding you down, Machine Gun. All right. This one should be definitely up in the air. I think everyone should take a shot to this one, but I could be wrong. Starting with you, Mickey Facts. What's up? Big Pun or Big L? Big Pun. 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 Big Pun.
Oh, God. Take a shot. Bro. You can say both. You, you got to go back to New York. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a shot. But I'm from the Bronx, but I'm going to take a shot. So, you, you, you can t- I like that. Take Isn't a shot, Harlem, Bronx, you can still Jason? give us your pick. Yeah, we like, we like this. Right. So, you saying? You, I'm going to take pun. I'm from the Bronx, man. Okay. Like, All right. Big pun. But I'm okay. going to take a shot, though. Okay. Big L. Big L. Okay. Cool. Yeah, for me it's both. For sure. All right, yeah, all right. Take for a shot. For me it's both too. God damn, take a shot. Shot, shot, shot. All right. I had time to think about it. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to take a shot. That's that's. And by the way, he's drinking that drink champs beer. That's right. God damn it. God damn it. It's true. Uh, drinking that drink champs beer. All right, my uh, my whole conversation about balance and all that. Out the window. No, that is balance. Hell, that is balance. He's about to get my boy crazy. He's like, say something, take a drink. No, no, say something, pick something, take a drink. It's low carb. The balance is after the show. Yeah, the balance is after the show. Okay, I'm up in the air with this one. I don't know, so I'm gonna go with you first. All right, Kanye or Pharrell? Jeez, please. Are these like? Come on, man. Just take the shot. Both. Yeah. yeah, take the shot. I respect it. Yeah. I respect it. Don't go. leave him. Don't lead him into the class. I'm going to go with Pharrell. I'm going to go for Pharrell. Smart man. Let's go. I mean, yeah. Take the shot. All right. God. God damn it. All right. Take, you got to get a point yourself. Skateboard. Come on. Skateboard. Ooh, it's getting good. It's getting good. It's getting good. This one, is, this one I'm up in the air. I don't know where y'all going to go with this one. All of it is up in the air. George Clooney. These are literally unanswerable questions, but yeah, 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 it's just trick. Oh, yeah, you gotta take a shot. You, take a shot. Like, yeah. you don't got any score. We gotta take it. All right, you too, buddy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta start coming to these white people parties, bro. Like just be like, yo, <laughs> be you, man, yeah, 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 like, yo. Did you not hear my record? I said at the white boy club while I'm buying the ball. Yeah. Hey, now I've been at the white boy party. <laughs> Drugs too. And back in the day too. Well, um, not too far. Uh, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wale. He said not too far. Wale or Kid Cudi. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. Cudi, I gotta say Cudi. Cudi. Yeah. Where you going with it, facts? I'm going with Wale. Where you going with it? I gotta go, Cudi. Mm-hmm. I think you gotta take a fact, I guess a shot because y'all I love both of them though. As, as y'all three, as y'all three being together, you're supposed to be in unison, so you gotta take a shot. It's, it's, a, it's a new rule, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I fuck with Wale, man. That's okay, y'all yeah, was confused. So I had beef with him though. Really? We're gonna get into that next. Uh, <laughs> okay. You put it right there, we both shit. All right, this one is good. All right, this one is good. Everybody got a shot? All right. Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? Oh, uh, Nicki, bro. You want to explain why? I just want to just take Nicki. Uh, yeah, I'll say Nicki. Just Nicki, that's it? Yeah. All oh, right, I respect that. <laughs> Nicki Fax, it look like you're about to take another shot. Nicki. I thought you called him Nicki Fax right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nicki Fax. I say, I say that's Cardi- crazy. That's Queen. That's my Queen shit in my mind. I'm sorry. I say Cardi B. Cardi B? Okay, all right, I respect all y'all answers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, but y'all still got a shot. Is that for the next one or is that for the last one? Y'all it was for, it was supposed to be. It's for the last one. Cutting. Okay, it's for Wally and Cuddy. Oh, you want to okay. knock those off? Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Breaking the rules. No, no, no. That was for the last one. Y'all oh, supposed yeah. to pour. And then, all right. So now, we, I think we're getting um, we're getting good, getting good right here. All right. Little Kim or Foxy Brown? Oh man. Oh, Foxy. Kim. Foxy. Wow. All right, I'm going to let y'all get away with that, even though y'all supposed to be in unisys again. Oh, oh, All right, that's cool. I got you. That's cool. <laughs> this is, you're supposed to do like a Steve Harvey with the buzzer. You got to talk Man. to each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll perfect that for the next show. We'll perfect that for the next show. Okay. All right, this one, I don't know. Funk Flex or DJ Clue? Flex. Clue for me? Mm. Flex. He was from the West Coast. He was to say, Felly fell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Felly well, fell. Okay. I'm going to let you get away with it, though. <laughs> this is my personal favorite question to ask on the show. Independent or major? 
I mean, the goal's major, no, but I, I'm going to say independent. Independent. Major. Really? I'm going to take a shot with you. <laughs> I'm going to take a shot with you. Major? I'm, I'm He's been waiting for someone to say that. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen. Come on, baby. You, don't worry. You're going to explain shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, we, it's, it's a thing that we got. I say independent. He's amazing. Yeah, wow. yeah listen, listen. Wow. Uh, you want to take a shot? I feel like you want to yeah, take a I shot. Yeah, I, 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 feel like, I feel like you should just join us, man. You, he was with us. He was with us. And then we're going to explain. Let's all take a shot. Yeah, let's all take a shot. Yeah, come on, Mickey Fat. It's your birthday, goddammit. Fuck it. Come on, goddamn. Let's do it. Salute, salute. Cheers, fellas. To motherfucking. Oh. Salute, salute. To you, motherfucking. The Blue, Mickey Fax, motherfucking Asher Roth. Happy birthday, hey! Mickey Fax. Hey! Now, I'm going to start with you. Why would you say major? Uh, uh, more opportunities. I agree. You know what I mean? I agree with you. Definitely. How about you, Ashley? Why you said? Well, here's the deal, and I was talking to you off off camera about this. Uh -huh. If you're on a major label, you're getting a lot of other people paid. Yes. So you got a lot of other responsibilities, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's why I choose independent because you just get to you know mm -hmm. focus in, do your shit. Right. But you know, on a major label, if you if that's your path and that's what you're trying to do, and you're cool with having responsibilities for other people and you know all that jazz. You, there's the rewards are high. I actually love his breakdown. Yeah, because that breakdown was actually sufficient to what yeah. I'm saying. It's like I'd rather have those responsibilities. Sure. Like, there's certain people who don't want to, and you downgrade yourself. You used to roll 12, 13 deep. Now you roll three deep. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, I, I, I remember my perspective was it's uh -huh. not that I'm dissing majors. It's I feel like you should be independent, self-sufficient, and then be able to upstream yourself to a major and take advantage and own your shit. Right. Boom. But you get signed to a major immediately, you're and owned. And you know that's true. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, 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 I no, no of that. course. That's what I mean by I mean, that's being the point, independent. The point, the point is... Because you can be on a major, but you come from an independent background where you're already self-sufficient, then that's just another tool for you. So the, the point is to, 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 to come into the independent but be so valuable that when you switch and transition to a major, they give you that same independent type of deal, meaning you still have that kind of, you're owning your master's and you still have that, but do you have that major push? That is the ultimate goal. Yeah, that's, that's, what the ultimate goal. Right, right. that's what I've always said. That's what I've always said. Nobody's you know. argued that the, the the machine that's the major yeah, yeah. is the money that's the major. We can't fight that machine. We can't fight that machine. Let me just tell you something. Exactly. Every time, like when we had Trinidad James here, we had Every time when this is that one record that goes through the roof, no one can't debate that. No one can't debate with the machine that when when Trinidad James dropped, what's that? Go all in my watch. Go all in my We said, what's my name? We said Tyrone Biggles. What's my name? <laughs> Chaboni Rome. Chaboni Rome on the other hit record. And this shit went through the roof. When you get those certain records that go through the roof, you have to attribute these major labels. You have to say to them sure. that this is... This but that's is. few and far in between. I, what I'm I trying to say, that if, you, too, yeah. if you already come in independently minded or structured and, and have some kind of success independently, you win the major, you could have a mediocre hit, come off the major, and you're even better off. Like right now, right now, I, I was telling people recently, I was saying, it's, it's ironic that you sign an artist without a buzz. Because right now, labels are the laziest they ever been. Because, yes, yes, because they don't even, all they need to do is have you build a buzz, have you have two million on SoundCloud. And they just oh, add oh, gasoline to the fire. Is, yeah. And then they, they come in. Data or whatever. Right. Data. Right. Gasoline to the fire. And at that point, you don't even need the label. You don't need them. If, if you're, you're smart them. enough. Yeah. Right. I mean, for me, like, again, I came to, to Neil Levine uh -huh. and Jive Records uh -huh. with two commercials. Mm. A EA Sports deal, mm. a Puma deal. It's in the game. It's in the game. EA Sports. You saw it coming. It's in the game. Ah, this is okay. A Puma deal mm. and a fan base and a buzz. Mm. I was on. I was in every magazine. Oh, I thought you said of. only fans. I said you had only fans. You never said that. Yeah, you just <laughs> <you're> the original <laughs> on only fans. I had. It's his birthday. You should drop it tonight. You should drop it tonight. But I came into the label with all my own shit. So when it was time, they wanted to give me a 360 deal. So I uh -huh. shot the Bob Celestian. Uh -huh. Wasn't having that. Because okay. we, we came in with everything already. Okay. You can't take nothing. You know, all you're doing is enhancing it a little bit. And they, when they did my deals, like with EA after me, 
It was because I already had that situation with them. Mm-hmm. So all they did was enhance it by, you know, I did the Vivo thing. I was one of the first artists to, you know, put Paradise on Vivo. It, you know, I was one of those guys. Right. But, like, aside from that, like, you know, 106 and Park, aside from that, like, I did everything on my own. Mm. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So is a 360 deal new? Is that a new concept? Not new now. Not now. No, not now, of course. But I'm talking about when you were coming up. No. What was the deal? Like, what was the? It might have been worse. <laughs> yes. No, it was it worse. Yeah. No, it wasn't worse because no. they wasn't taking a piece of your, your per- merchandise. They wasn't taking tour. It wasn't taking. They wasn't taking a piece of your publishing at the time. Right. That's what the 360. No, they, that, well, they, no, they took shit. royalties. Shit, shit. They took no, they didn't take a piece of yourself. No way. I mean, that, uh, I had, my publishing was taken without a 360. No, deal. but you didn't. The publishing was taken with a publisher. You didn't do it. It wasn't. It wasn't penalty that took a piece of your publishing. Penalty yeah. took your publishing. Oh my god. Yeah. Neil Levine took your publishing. Penalty had to be. If you look at my records to this day, they'll say sweet. Um, or anything on the board report says sweet 1205. Who the fuck you think? I think I had a sweet. When I was making a war report, no, and you think it was on the top floor, and it was anyway, sweet twelve oh five, like so. That ain't got just thinking about it. Yeah, so let, yeah, so um, record deals was fucked up without three sixties. Let's just be clear. Let's just be clear. No, no, of As course, a person who suffered through that sure. shit, let me tell ya. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. This is a great combo, by the way. This is a great combo. Okay. Absolutely. All right. We got more. We got more. Okay. We're still on TikTok? I feel like I'm playing poker. Still TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. I'm here. What's right. up, man? We should play poker one day. Joe sure. Button like podcast or Drink Champs? Drink Champs. I ain't never been on Joe Button podcast. <laughs> drink Champs. Okay. Drink Champs. All right, good, 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 good. Hey. Somebody should just say Joe Button. Just in the hell of it. Yeah, right. I'm taking a shot at Joe Button right there. All right, hold on. Um, moving on. Dr. Dre or Puff? Puff, for Puff. me, man, I, I know. Puff, uh, yeah. Puff, Puff. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was sorry for blue. Oh, oh, plan, what? Puff, bro. I know, Three. I know. Bro. Look, 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 look. Get your man, get your man. No, I, yeah. I, I, I need yeah. you to come out and say it. Okay, yeah, that's course, goddamn, yeah, goddamn. Of course, of course. I respect that. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, hey, that's my man. Jada Kiss or Pusha T? Jada Kiss, bro. I'm sorry, man. Jada, Jada Kiss, Jada Kiss. Yes. Okay, I respect yeah. these answers. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this was to be very clear around the board. Easy. LA or Miami? Uh, LA. You gonna jump you out there? I live that, bro. Miami. <laughs> Miami. Miami. I'm, I'm neutral uh, to that. LA. You neutral? I'm, I'm born in LA. Born LA. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a Miami. Okay. I'm a Miami. Yeah, so I feel right, like this is a good one. Ice Cube or Scarface? Ice Cube. Cube. Q yeah. for me, Q for me. Yeah. Really? Y'all yeah, answered way too fast. Oh, yeah. But Ice Cube for sure. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Shout out to Scarface. Let's say both. both. Yeah. Yeah. So legit. Uh, 91 Scarface. All right. Outcast or Mob Deep? I gotta go both, man. For huh? me, yeah. For yeah, me. That's an unfair oh. one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mob Deep. Okay. RIP Prodigy. Okay. All right. Both. Both? Yeah, okay. Both. Let's get your shot ready. Let's get your shot. shot ready. I'm not saying. My Mob favorite groups of all time. Hey, happy birthday again. Yeah, man. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Oh, shot for your birthday. Oh, I won't be I checking out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Cheers, 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 fellas. Hey, hey, hey. I won't check out your OnlyFans tonight, but yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, you, you will. Yeah, yeah, you will. Only fans, the first only After fans. these beers and these drinks. Okay. I'm going to just be on there rhyming. All right, this one is, this one, state prop or Rough Riders? Rough Riders. State property. Whoa. Damn, I got to uh, take, uh, yeah, take, take a shot. Take a shot over here. <laughs> Y'all killing uh, yourself. Uh, yeah. I love it. Damn. Uh, you taking the whiskey? This shit is fucking... Is it good? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. What's up? We've only got two more on them. Oh, yeah. But that's... Okay, yeah. Only like two, yeah, three more. Okay. Loyalty or respect? Ooh. Everything's for sale. Mm. For me, I would have to say loyalty. Mm. Loyalty. But loyalty. you said every. Oh, I thought, about, I thought that was your answer. Everything's for sale. No, it is. I mean, everything's for sale. Like not in a good way. You know, right. that's where I, where we're at right now. Don't uh, say that in the hood, though. Loyalty for yeah. sure. Yeah, don't say that in the hood. <laughs> Take that wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just play with Only you. Fair. Okay, empty light or Queen Latifah. MC Light, she is sampled on uh, Solid yeah. as a rap. L Y T E. MC Light. MC okay. Light. MC Light. Okay. Both. 
Yeah, I'm going with Latifah. Oh. All right. Can I take a shot? Hold on. Steve Rifkin or Neil Levine? <laughs> <laughs> Neil Levine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going with Steve Rifkin. Yeah. Okay. Because Rifkin wanted to sign. Rifkin. We went with Steve, Steve. Yeah. Steve Rifkin. Yeah. Rifkin. Where you go? Rifkin. We're going Neil Levine. Neil Levine. I'm holding you down, Neil Levine. Come on, goddamn it. <laughs> Take a shot for you. Okay, so you had Beaver Wale. What happened? <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna break it down. Mm. So Wale had a show. In New York, mm-hmm. and he shot at me and Sky Zoo. I was shot to Sky Zoo, mm-hmm. and we exchanged numbers. And I was like, "Yo, we should do a record." My producer at the time, Precise, he he was gonna produce the beat, and he was gonna get Pusha T on the record. Mm. You Wale and Pusha, Pusha T. T. This was 2008, mind you. Mm. So I reach out to Wale, and I'm, you know, and I'm like, "Yo, you know, he on the freshman's class with you." This is before. This is before. This is before. Mm. So I'm buzzing, and I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get him a part of what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he takes forever. So I do a record called Incredible, mm-hmm. and I say Axe Wale. He know I'm incredible, and then I do another record called Sublime, where it's like. The concept was you subliminally dissing somebody using their names, but you're not really dissing them. Mm-hmm. Wale took offense to that. Mm. So while after I put it out, and again, this is a part of the leak, I'm putting the record out every single week on the internet. Mm. You know, first, second one to do that, because Crooked Eye did it first. Mm. I was putting a song out every week, shout out to Crooked Eye. And then Wale sees the record, hears it, calls me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Barking on me. Wow. And I'm like, yo, because I wanted you to do the record. And he was like, yo, I got a little weight in my email. I, I take, it takes me forever to do whatever. Bangs on me. Click. Yeah. So I was like, okay. I was with my girl at the time, and she was looking at me like, word? That's what happened? I was like, yeah, yeah. that's what happened. You let niggas hang up on you? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in Soho. I see him in Soho with a security guard. A security nah, we call it so- <laughs> you took a Soho the area or Soho house? Soho, not nah, Soho so- house. Okay, the Soho the area. I was shopping. Okay, yeah. I seen him. I was by myself. He had a security guard. Huge. He saw me, but we walked past each other. Okay. Now we had the double XL freshman cover. Right? After he banged it on you. After he banged it on so me. So the big security. Everybody's crazy. Right. I run up on him, mm. and I'm like, what up? You good? Yeah. You know, I ain't dapping your hand. Fuck you. Get up the fuck out of here. I ain't dapping you. You good. You good. Walked off on me. Right? Yeah. So now, there's Y'all a- there? They're, yeah. they're there. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, I don't think they. I don't think they've ever heard this no, story. I'm just listen. No, I never this heard. Is, yeah, yeah. They've never heard this story. <laughs> right? They, they've never heard the story. <laughs> but can you blow on? Can somebody blow on? <laughs> This is the first time ever. This is the first okay. time ever. Okay. Right. This is mustache, right? Here. Well, okay. This is, this he's is, he's, he's twirling it like a super voice. His mustache never heard this story. Yes, yes. Go ahead. So, so now, uh-huh. so now, at this point, Wale is super. Cool. He's being ultra friendly with everybody. Hey, Charles buddy. Hamilton is playing both sides of the field. This is before Charles Hamilton girl beat him up. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that was his girl, was it? That was his girl. That was it was his girl? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. So, at this point... I choose I, Joe Budden's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were there? You were there? <laughs> so, so, like, you know, <laughs> so, so, listen. So, I didn't... I didn't I didn't have a sublime for Blue or Asher coincidentally, mm-hmm. but I did have one for Cuddy on it. Okay. So Cuddy had a, took offense to it as well. Okay. And he, but it he, wasn't he, a diss record. He had regular hair. He didn't have. He like, had regular. He <laughs> had a fade. Uh-huh. He never mullet. He, yeah, he didn't have a mullet. He was. And, he, and his shit wasn't. That was that was my guy at the time. Yellow rainbow. Okay. He mm-hmm. was mad at me too. Okay. So him, Wale, and and Charles formed an alliance. So now. We're at the photo shoot and it's awkward. Okay. Because if you want, if you look at, if you're awkward right now, what's the crazy? This is like his reality. You know what I mean? This is nobody else's experience. Go ahead. <laughs> no, this is really what happened. Yeah, no, I love it. I go. So, so, at, so, so, Wale refuses to be in any shots with me in terms of 
how close we are. So if you look at, so in the, and so he's saying what he's saying. But if you look at the picture, I'm on one oh, side. Of, yeah. But I'm you think he's exaggerating in his mind? No, what's going I don't. On? I just think that like people have their own shit. Like they have their own experience of what's going on, and like what you were experiencing with Wale on that day is completely different than what from what you guys because right. you don't know what's going on yeah, between Blue, 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 was, right, right. Blue was by himself that day oh, <laughs> he was he was by himself in an armchair just looking out the window peacefully yeah. Yeah. I was waiting on jail like trying to <laughs> hoping he wouldn't show up yeah, so he was going to trip him if he showed up so so at this point right so I'm avoiding him because clearly he he got beef with me and I don't have beef right. I'm just mad he didn't do the record with me right so, you know, we do a freestyle, me, Asher, and Cuddy, uh, and Charles. We do a freestyle together. Cuddy jumps in. He does what he does. It's on YouTube. You really haven't smoked pot in 15 years, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If I can it's, remember. It's, my memory is yeah, yeah, on yeah. point. Damn. My memory is on point. Damn. So we, we get in a circle, and we talk about what we talk about. And then that's it. That's the end of it, right? And then two years later, Wale calls me and is like, look, you know, I want to apologize for how... I was at that time. He was like, Charles at the time was feeding me things and I was mm. listening to things that I shouldn't have been listening to, but I rock with you, bro. Like, you know, I fuck with you on that level. And for me, it was like, cause he, cause he banged it on me. Mm. I seen him in the streets. He could have pounded me out, pummeled me mm. with, with his big security guard. Mm. And then he left me hanging, but he still apologized. He, he spun the block and apologized to me. Mm. And from that, that that was the beef. But we, we don't have any beef anymore. Mm. We're cool. I, I seen him a couple of times. We always talk here and there. Shout out to Wale. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that was the beef at that time. You know I mean? Okay, Blue. So he talked about Eminem, his problems with Eminem. He talked about Wale. I can't allow you to just stand over here. But you never had a problem in hip hop. Nah. Never? Nah. You I did. tripped out on a couple people you on tripped accident. Out? You tripped out? Or yeah, they tripped I had out? to go to like, you know, mental hospitals and what? get my mind checked and shit. You know what I mean? Get like you wilded out right. like mentally on somebody on and it was... a couple people. I was just tripping. My studio got robbed, you know what I mean? And I was I was tripping, you know what I mean? So it wasn't, it wasn't reality? No, no, you just say it wasn't, it wasn't beef. He, he was just tripping. Oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't reality. Yeah, I was just off some shit, man. But never no, other than that, never no beef in the industry. Nope. Nah. No one ever said, fuck him. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't no beef after that? Nah. After those trip outs? A little bit, you know, but, uh, you know, I had to get my head right, you know right. what I mean? And right. I just, you know. We went to therapy and things like know. that? Yeah, I went to oh, therapy. Yeah. God you know bless you. Yeah. I took medicine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. But, uh, yeah, I just had to get my head right and let them know that I was I was tripping. So you were able to you know what I mean? come back to them and let them know what was going on. Definitely. Right. Yeah. God bless. Make some noise for that. <laughs> so now at one point, Joe yeah. Button say something about Method Man. Yes. Method Man responds to a certain extent. Yep. Raekwon is asked something. Yeah. Raekwon responds. Right. Joe goes crazy on on Raekwon. Right. And then, for some kind of reason, you posted a Joe button, like a co-sign to Joe button, and then this famous incident happens in L.A. Right. <laughs> You want to describe this for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't smoke weed, so my memory's good. <laughs> Goddamn. Should we take a shot first? Should we take a shot? Let's take a shot for your memory, man. Let's take a shot for his memory, goddamn. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie. Me being the outsider looking you in. switching up. You wallet. <laughs> and really not knowing what's going on. When I did see you did post, like, almost taking a side. That's what it looked like from the outside looking in. If if I make it. If I can be uh, up front. It almost looked like when you did post whatever you posted, it looked like you was clearly taken aside. Then there's this rumor, you all guys seen each other, 
Let's just get it out on the table, get it over. Let's just hear like, first. yeah, let's take a shot. Let's, let's take a shot, shot first. Let's take a shot. Joe Biden and Raekwon. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Because you caught in the middle. The Strovia. Mm. Mm. But explain this like no one's ever heard. It's Russian. Spice, Spice new, yeah. Uh, that's what they say. How do you say thank you in Russian? Yeah, white boy. Is he Russian? Yeah, I told you. I told you. I really be in the white boy party, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, can I get some water? Some yeah. water. So look. Okay. We had a show on Rock the Bells in Maryland. Boom. And this is one of them little cameras. And this famous. is Rock the Bells the Festival, not to be confused now with Rock, Rock the Bells. Rock the Bells the Festival. Uh, right. Cool J, Rock so the these are little cameras. Everybody got these little little white cameras, right? They run, this is before like, the iPhone got crazy. Okay, get Right, it. so mm-hmm. um, Joe Button had said something about it was the top 50 MCs on there, and Joe Button said that the man was on there. That method. And he didn't need to be on there. So that carried over, and Inspector Je- Inspector Deck jumped in, and it was it was this thing. Shout out to Inspector Deck, right. and we was in Maryland, mm-hmm. and Joe Button did this video, and I was in the video with him, mm. and I guess you could say I was co-signing. I was co-signing mm-hmm. what he was saying. Mm-hmm. Joe, but I think he was apologizing at that time because we did New York. At, we was on that New York date, mm-hmm. and, and Method Man mm-hmm. and Joe Button had squashed it. Okay. Yep. So, I had a I had a tour date in Japan mm-hmm. with Lupe. Okay. So I did I did the show with Lupe and then I flew to LA with uh, by myself mm-hmm. and had a show in LA. I had just did the Honda commercial. Honda commercials out. Mm-hmm. The date July 9th. That's not my birthday. My birthday is August 11th. I thought you were like yo, your birthday. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So. It was super hot that day. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't have a trailer. Slaughterhouse had a trailer. Mm-hmm. So before I go to the trailer, Raekwon is at the uh, the uh, the tables. It's not. It's like when you go to a, a park and they have those tables. Mm-hmm. Raekwon is at the table with mm-hmm. like four people. Mm-hmm. So I say, "What's up, to Raekwon?" Dap him up. Like mm-hmm. the picnic table. Joe? Picnic table. Right, right. So I go. I go into the trailer because it's hot, mm-hmm. and there was AC mm-hmm. in the trailer. Mm-hmm. So I'm in the trailer and Joe Button is doing his Joe Button TV podcast. But yeah. it wasn't a podcast. It wasn't. It was live. Joe it was Button live. TV. Joe yeah, Button yeah, TV. Like, yeah. Similar to. But he was ahead of his time doing all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, he was ahead of his time. Big so big. I'm in. I'm in the room with him. So Joe Button is doing what he's doing. Raekwon walks into the dressing room mm-hmm. with five guys, big five or six guys, big mm-hmm. guys. So now I'm on the computer and Joe looks up. Joe's worried. Right. So now. I'm just on the computer. And when they came in the room, they were friendly. Right. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Door closes and everything changes. It's it dark. <laughs> There's a dark cloud that right. comes into the room. Right. There's a white guy who walks out the room. White guy stayed in the room. He stayed in the room? Okay. Continue. Stayed in the room. Okay. It wasn't Asher. It wasn't you. It wasn't yeah. Asher. <laughs> it was his mustache. What's, what's you at? Asher would have saved, <laughs> saved us. Okay. okay. <laughs> so... It went from friendly to dark. Okay. And Raekwon was like, you know, what was that shit you was talking about? To you. To Joe. Wow. But did Why to him? But, okay, yeah, continue. Sorry. Great line. He was like, what was that shit you was talking about? Mm. And, you know, he said it to Joe. And Are Joe, we talking about in Maryland or this is one in L.A.? This is in L.A. Okay, okay. This is the one where it actually went down. This is where it went okay. down. Okay. So, you know, Joe's like, you know, everything is squashed. Everything is handled. I spoke to Method Man. Mm-hmm. It's good. You know, and then I think he's I, at that point. I think he had squashed it with Inspector Deck too. My memory's mm-hmm. a little f- foggy with that. Mm-hmm. So Raekwon is like, I don't believe you. Shout out to Raekwon because I don't want this to happen again to me. Yeah, yeah. So he said, I don't believe you. Yeah. I want Mickey to pull it up right now. Yeah. Now we're in. This is 2009. Yeah. We all know smartphones have Wi-Fi, yeah. right? This is back then a computer. Ethernet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm sitting down on the floor because I'm already on right. the computer. Yeah. So I so as I'm looking at what's going on, I turn around and I accidentally knock the ether cord out. Ooh, so it looked like you can't load. Whatever. Exactly. So now the you didn't internet know is, that it was out. You know, I didn't know it was out. So I accidentally knock it out. Right. So the right. so the feed cuts off. And they want to keep all... And they want to see yeah, because Joe's Joe, apology Joe, yes. to Method Man. 
So because I can't pull it, it up. kind of made Joe apologize to the whole Wu-Tang. Did you see the video? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, before you even, let me ask you this. Uh, Is everything I'm saying? Yes, you're correct. I, I okay, cool. It, yeah. I just want you to know. <laughs> so cool. I knocked the court out. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so Ray is like, pull up the, pull up the site. Uh-huh. And I'm over there like this, trying to pull up the site. Oh, right? Uh-huh. I can't pull it up because the Ethernet cord is cut out. I didn't know that part. That's, that's, that's excellent. Right? <laughs> this, 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 this is a movie. This is a movie, dude. Right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's so excellent. now. This is crazy. This, 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 this is all great. So now Joe is yeah. on the couch. Yeah. Put up the fucking Ethernet. Put up the fucking site. You're the bad guy now. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> you yeah. fucked it up. I yeah. can't pull it up because I yeah. kicked the Ethernet by accident. Right. Or so was that, it? No, I'm playing. Nah, it was actually. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. That's you know, you're supposed to be my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> you're supposed to be my man. I'm trying to get my money. So, so then, so yeah. then. And then real quick, real quick, I just want to say, this is all old shit. We're this just, is, we're this, talking, is this is all yeah. been squashed. 12 years old, that's yeah. why I said. We're not revamping yeah. really shit, we're just talking that's some. That's why I said Ray is old. That's why I said Ray. I got a shot porn already, Ashley. You the only one joining me? My bad, I'm joining you. Happy birthday, Mickey. Yo, I was out here just twisting off the cap. It wasn't even on, bro. You know what I mean? God damn, this drink chest, God damn. Mickey Fax pulls a real shot. Yeah, yeah. Pour a real shot. Like you, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I did a whole Ciroc bottle by myself. Yes, yeah, yeah. We watch. Cheers, it's your baby. birthday, bro. Salud, Cheers. it's your birthday. Shout out to only fans. <laughs> I need a uh, water. So, <laughs> yeah, the water's over there. For you. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. so uh-huh. then Joe gets hit. Wait, wait, immediately? He gets hit because I guess he was yelling. Yeah. So he gets hit. Boom. Now I don't think it's a punch. Yeah. I don't. I'm so I'm because I'm still. So when yeah. people, you know, like you to the side, yeah. I'm to the side to you, yeah. trying to pull it up. So when he gets hit, I think something just falls in the room. Yeah. So people be like, "Yo, why he ain't help?" Yeah. I think just something just fell in the room. Right. So I'm what were you supposed to do, bro? Not even that. I'm trying to pull up the site. So I turn around right. and I see he got hit. I'm like, well, fuck it, he got hit. And I, I try to keep putting up the site. Mm. Now, at that point, I can't pull up the site. Right. So then we turn around and we have, you know, homie who who hit Joe Button. Is a big dude. Is a huge dude. Very big dude. And I see a lot of, and I want to say this, because I've been dealing with this for 11 years. Right. People say, yo, you should have helped Joe Button. You should have. Niggas don't be fighting like that in real life. <laughs> and, and that wasn't really my yeah. man, man like that. Right. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So it was like, and I didn't know he got hit mm. until I turned around and saw he got hit. But it was too late. Busy and he to, like, didn't swing. Shit. Joe didn't swing back. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. and, and can you vouch for this? I just wanted to be your story, bro. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with you, Miguel. I fuck with you, Miguel. He's great at what he does. He, so, so now at this point, Raekwon is like a woo, a real Wu Gambino boss. It feels like he's sitting in a motherfucking throne, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Look, I could put this shit out tomorrow. What I really want you to do is apologize, because if you don't apologize, I'm gonna break Mickey Fax's legs, right? Oh my god! Do you remember that? I don't remember that part. But, uh, go ahead, continue. He's like, listen, we go, we gonna break Mickey Fax's legs if you don't fucking apologize. So, Joe apologizes, and then these niggas just get up and walk out the motherfucking room to the whole Wu Tang Clan. But let me just tell you something. He had to apologize to Sons of Man. <laughs> you know the fluff. Yeah. Like, you know, the niggas that don't even exist. They like, shout out to him, too. <laughs> Shaheen the Rookie Kyle. <laughs> Shaheen? Yeah. Okay, kill all these. Kill all these. Don't take me back. He's not fronting. He ain't fronting. Front. Hey, listen. He ain't fronting. So, uh-huh. you know, at that point, they get up and they, and they just leave. Mm-hmm. And and, and at the, during the whole thing, after Joe gets hit, Joe is... is and, and shout to Joe, but he's speaking like a collegiate professor. Yeah. He is speaking very proper. He's good. He's doing what he's doing. He's talking real proper. And I'm just sitting there like, I hope I don't get my legs broken because because yeah. there's six big niggas in here. Yeah, they, and no. did you think your legs were about to get broken? I thought I was gonna get my legs broken. That's oh, like okay. blue rapper for Shook Knight, bro. Like it's like right. Oh, yo, in the it's circle. a great stories, yeah. by the way. It's a great story. So I'm. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, all right, you know, it is what it is. But they walk out, and as soon as they walk out, Joe jumps up. And gets on live. And he gets on live. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, 
And this is all allegedly. No, oh, this really this, happened. This really happened. No, this is allegedly. There, <laughs> listen, this really happened. This really happened. So I, he gets up and he gets on live. Now, mind you, we get on live, it's a normal thing. When yeah. they he did it back then, it wasn't a thing at yeah. that time. This was brand new to the internet. Right. And I was, I was... It was new to me because I was like, wow, he's getting on the internet. He has so many mm. people talking to him, and I, mm. I, I, I was intrigued by this. So, no, but he got on live with his... With, his, with the eye with patch. The thing, with the thing. So, I, I, now, as he's doing that, I'm sitting in the, I'm sitting in the sofa watching him. I'm, I'm in amazement. I'm right. like, wow, this is crazy. I can't wait to... I'm going to do it next. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when he's done, he gets up, he takes the iPad, he put, and he goes in the bathroom. Well, I guess he calls Royce, and everybody yeah. pulls up later. And then that's like, okay, it's my turn. It's my turn. So I, I go, and the white boy is behind me, and it's still online. You can see it. Right. Me and whoever was with us uh-huh. go online and give my account of the story. Right. Um, and that's that's basically what happened. And that was yeah, the same account of story we did is the same account of it now? Or? I believe so. Okay. And you gave that account right after it happened? Right after it happened. And you thought that was smart? At the time, yes. Uh, yeah. At the time. It could, because it was new. Right. right. And, yeah. and, and I was wrong for that. I shouldn't have said anything. Right. But... Because um, why did you even get involved, like, period? Like, why? I, it was hot. Right. Well, just, just, just posting something... I, it was hot outside And I went into the room Because it was AC No but he's saying Posting it right Yeah yeah Because I think It was something It was something That you co-signed I, I forget what it was I, I co- Exactly it was, it was in Maryland Okay And when he was talking About Inspector Deck I was there And I was just mm-hmm. like Okay yeah 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 but Okay okay This, is all, this was all fair. new to me Okay These are people that You know You're one of the people That I listened to growing right. up Right Right. right. So right. if I'm around you I'm, I'm always gonna be like Wow it's yeah. Noriega right. You know what I'm saying I can recite Body in the Trunk right. I can recite Thank you All of this All of these great records That you put right. out Thank you So when I see Raekwon And I see Joe Budden And I see these guys It's like yo I'm mm. This is I'm happy to be here Right Because I'm I'm a nigga from the Bronx My man right. all, I'm But no, you're not realizing You're throwing fuel on the I don't know Because yeah. I'm having That's, a good time what? Right You're throwing your hat In you the ring too I really respect <laughs> that answer you, you know why Because Everything you're saying Is Legit, we really didn't know what live stream was. We didn't then. know what it was. We didn't know that. You probably knew more than everybody else there. But right? I didn't know they were taping it. Yes, right, right. It's just like Clubhouse. I haven't been on Clubhouse since I, I thought, knew. Right. Somebody was just taping me. I'm like, I thought this is. I never got. I thought it was Clubhouse. Just, right. It was just between <laughs> us. It was just between us. And then you got me once. I was like, there yeah. you go. Yeah. So, so, so I, I did the live stream. Here. I thought it was live, and then that was it. For your for your fans, that's it. That's it. Not, not the enemies' fans, and the enemies are gonna post it and make. I didn't think they were gonna screen yeah, record they it did and that post it. Clubhouse. Yeah. And this was 2009. And now right. you're on OnlyFans. Right. I'm neither. definitely not. <laughs> <on OnlyFans. laughs> Y'all can pay me like I'm on that, but I ain't on it. You got to open up OnlyFans. Goddamn fucking right. So so that's what happened. Uh-huh. And you know. Shout out to Raekwon, you right. know, I, you know, we we every time it's his birthday, right. you know, I wish him a happy birthday, and he'd be like, "Thank you, King," mm-hmm. and you know, that's I in my mind at that time it was like this is somebody I grew up listening to, bro. Like yeah, that's what's weird about it. Like that's my first tape I ever bought. No, Into the Thirty Six Chambers was the oh. first tape I ever. People be saying I should have fought. Like this is somebody I grew up listening to. I'm I'm enamored but being in his even, presence. No, I don't think you should have fought. I think you. No, but in that case, case you shouldn't have. Co- but I get it. I get what you just said. I can't even. I, I love you Inspector Deck. I love Beth, I love yeah. all these guys. At that time, that's just what it was. Yeah, it's, alcohol it's, is a hell of a drug. Alcohol Was it alcohol? <laughs> I didn't drink at the time Really? I'm just drinking now No, no but it was It was Because you know what The internet was really Really New It time. was new yeah, It was yeah. so I new I what you said and a, and, and a lot of the Artists What we were doing Was brand new What mm. me Joe mm. Asha Blue Charles mm. every, What we were doing Was super new Even Charles Because Charles got caught in Like I got to see His girl snuff him Like I yes. want to see that Absolutely like, well, You like, wouldn't like, have seen that That's not real. my business like, Right the truth. Yeah. Like yeah But like But, you, straight, but that's you, what Y'all you, generation sorry. But that's what Y'all generation Was willing to wear We birthed it Yeah y'all well, birthed we, it We didn't know I mean like There's kids these days That if you ask them No y'all knew When they we didn't. We didn't. Oh, we were just they, trying to get on. But there's kids these days. You ask them what they want to be. They say, "I want to be a YouTube star." Yeah. Right. Damn. You're right. We didn't know. That's, we that's, didn't know that. We were just and even more hip hop. Hip hop was that. even YouTube more behind. star. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Every we were ahead of the curve. Yeah. Well, us three and everybody right. who's on the cover with us was ahead of the curve. Right. Like what Asher was doing. Yeah, he took a photo. 
naked and afraid right. on, a, on, a, on a toilet right. doing what he, that was that wasn't something that was done right. he put out yeah. below the heavens on my space and went that was quote unquote viral he was shown love I put out a song every single week because every nobody was on the internet when we were doing it they called us nerds. Yeah. And now it's the norm. The same thing with podcasts. It's it the same like thing. thing. It was a nerd thing. I just want right. to big myself up. In 1998, I had a song called www.nori. <laughs> you know what? That's a great song. Let me just tell you that. Trick Daddy Night, had a joint. That was a great song. He had a whole album. He had a whole album. Uh, but but we really? we we lived it. Right, we li- right, we lived yeah. we lived your story. <laughs> we lived we lived that right. shit. We right. we birthed everything that everybody's doing now. And right. I feel like at the end of the day, everybody owes us and who was on the cover and the cover after us and after wow. us. They need to owe us because we started right. this shit. Right. It, it came from there. us. But, you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like like he like he was the. Asher Roth was the first white rapper that was respected after Eminem. Because, you know, we have Bubba Sparks. I like Bubba Sparks. No, I like Bubba Bubba. Sparks. Yeah, but absolutely. when he came out, it was like, whoa, who is... Th- he's super lyrical. He's and nice. you had Bear Pong in your video. I'm Bear nice. Pong? He was, Bear Pong? Yeah. He was doing... Uh, he, he was, was going to invite you to drink champs white weekend. White parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going, you we're not ready for my guy. No, and Bear Pong. Yeah, yeah. And he was doing nice. I also play handball as well. Clearly. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, you Puerto Rican. Oh, Puerto Rican. It's totally different. Puerto Rican. 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 You know, Blue, Blue put out an incredible album with Exile. Mm. Hip hop classic. People so what you say, y'all were the sacrificial lambs. We were the sacrificial sense. lambs. So. Uh, I believe that, but I don't believe that. Why you don't believe it? Because it's a long career, baby. Woo! We about to, we still here. We got the Woo. next thirty years, bro. Woo! Like, That's right. We about to fucking put it on them, bro. Like right. we we here right now, bro. Right. Like, God damn it! Make some noise for that. Yeah. I'm taking a shot. I'm taking a shot. And not that's not to undermine you. I'm just Absolutely saying, not. Like, Blue, Mickey, myself, we're we're one of the nicest because o- over the last twenty years. So what's the name of y'all group? A craft, right now, man. We don't have a group, the, the but we odd, got the odd what did you name? The it? odd couple. The no, odd but it wasn't the the We don't trio. got a group. The odd the trio. Like the odd trio. Yeah, like some of the trio amigos. Shout out to everybody who's smoking weed in the back like this. Y'all can smoke if you want to smoke, we can do whatever you want. If I smoke weed, what? It's not great. I'm gonna just tell him and listen. I'm gonna okay. just listen. We listen. got you a smoke champ joint. You I put know, it to the yeah, side. Yeah, you leave it in front. We of don't show. got a group, but I'm we got we do have camera. a record. Yeah, we have a record, record together. Yeah, it's yeah, coming out to July 17th. It's called Rain. Yeah. Me, yeah, Blue, yeah. Blue, Asher Roth. Yeah. Produced by Knots. Knots. Yeah. When I look up y'all shit, Knots is connected to to y'all. Yeah, because he did an album with Knots, and I did an album with Knots. Wow. Yo, Knots is the only dude that I. And he did an album with Knots. Asher got two with Knots. Two with Knots. So, you know, that's how we all connected. Wow. You know, I love these two brothers. And what Nas did for Buster Rhymes? I forgot which joints. He's done a lot. He did, he did like, ELE, too. Up, man. That was yeah. Buster yeah. Rhymes. At, you know, ELE. Nas has done a lot. ELE. And you never were signed to Buster Rhymes. It keeps squabbling up. I was never no, signed. here's the Buster problem. It's the fucking white people. BZ <laughs> <laughs> The white people did this? Yeah. They, listen, because they, they did Paul's Boutique, right? That's a great sam- album. They, but they sampled everything. Right. Mm. And then sampling became an issue. So you said because of Paul's Boutique? Because I thought De La Soul caused that problem. But you're, you're probably With, right. I'm just, you know, right, right, just, right. you know, joking. But at the end of the day, man, like, sampling is an essence of hip-hop. Like, mm. we should be able to sample records and make beautiful shit. Mm. And now copyright infringement, all the shit. I, I mean, there's, the a, there's a good argument both ways, you know, though. I, if you're I, the I, person like, that made the shit and someone sampled your if shit. You, if you sample my shit right. and you fucking, uh, mm. I want my money. What you know, sucks for Dayla is that that those laws weren't ever a thing, and then they tried to make it a thing for their first album, which off, fucked them up, which is not... I don't think that was fair. First off, first off the Rolling Stones, the Rolling Stones. No, well, first off, which, which you guys don't even understand. Sorry to get so deep no, and no, particular. No, <coughs> but digital rights wasn't in none of these contracts. None, none of them. This, none this, of these no, contracts. No, they, no, but those no, are two this. different things, though. Digital okay. rights and then co- and then the whole thing of sampling. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I changed yeah. the subject. No, so but I mean, it's all the yeah, same yeah. realm. Can I just ask yeah. where yeah. everybody's at with sampling? Like, like I think that's woo. the hardest soul of hip-hop, personally. It's it is. It's I think that's the hardest soul of hip-hop. And I think when you took that out, it changed it. No, it, it doesn't mean it changed it for the worse, but it changed it. Say it. No, yeah. it took the soul out of hip-hop. Yeah, but if we all own our masters, right? I own my masters. I own my masters. Every one of them. Nah. Every 
All right. All right. So listen. No, so five percent. Okay. So, but listen. Yeah, what I'm trying to tell you is, if, if we all owned our masters 100, percent we would not care about sampling. You know why? Because our publishers and everything else that's attached to we that, get money off to that, they they they'll collect the money on our own. Mm -hmm. The reason why sometimes where a person will come and they'll do my whole record over, and I'll be looking at them like I don't know. They're like they be tagging me and shit. I'm like I don't even fuck that. Like, it, but if it pops, you you like no, nah, I don't even care if it pops. I don't get nothing if it's pops. Nah, but remember the era when Fifty was rhyming, doing full songs off of people's instrumentals. Yeah. At first, people were dissing it, but when those shits were getting BDS, yeah, those uh, artists were yeah. getting publishing. Uh, you're right. correct. Like when, when, it, was when, a spin. It, when it hit BDS, right? When it hit BDS, and and even those artists who had the great deals when it came to radio being compensated towards radio. Right. That's the people who, right. who felt great about For it. For me, can, what's BDS? So it's, BDS it's the is way that the, it's radio. It's the records radio. were played on the radio. Yeah. It's, it's the, way, it's the way they yeah. tracked it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's yeah. how so, the publishers knew how much your shit got spun and right. then they could account for whatever their rocket science mathematics to give you the publishing money. Right. And how has that changed to now? Good question. Um, no, you know what changed it? SoundCloud. SoundCloud BDS is now SoundCloud. Yeah. What do you mean? BDS is SoundCloud? No. No, not is SoundCloud, but SoundCloud is a part of BDS now. It's streaming yeah. SoundCloud? I'm sorry, it's streaming BDS? I don't think you really know, bro, to be honest with you. Um, say that again? It's streaming BDS? No, BDS is, has to do with um, it's like, so, radio. So remember, it's radio. So to, it's to, radio. to say that you had a record hitting in... in in LA or in yeah, St. Louis. Yeah, right. they would be like, oh shit, this radio station played you this many times, you're getting this many hits, uh, right. this many spins, this many times a week. And they knew that that was a market that you were doing well in. That was BDS that was telling them that. Right. Now, my it, was, it was a tracking. Now, personally, if I have a homie in St. Louis who's spinning my shit right. all the time, and does that affect no. BDS? He has to no. be on a station. No. He has to be on a station that matters. Station. Okay, but like you know, that's it was like it's like it's like you're back. I'll, if he's I'll, on internet radio, it's not being tracked. I don't want to know this commercial radio. radio so this is so serious. But I, I used nah. to have a guy yeah, back in nah. the days. Right, I used to have a guy in the nineties. That What's you were just, like, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Paco, his Paco. name is Paco. Yeah. Yeah. He's actually Latino, so I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Paco. But, but, uh, call him Paco. We call him Paco. Oh, Pele, so Pele. I used to give Paco whatever or whatever, and he would give us 44 stations. These 44 stations I would automatically be inducted in, but the thing about it is, they don't really matter. It would be Albuquerque. Oh, Come it would be on, Albuquerque, you know, such and such. And it would be, spins, yeah. it'll, it'll be, it'll be it shit that don't matter. But the thing up. is, as long as That's your it. record is working everywhere else, it makes sense. There you go. Did, did I just give y'all too much yeah. That's where no, the payola no, no. Did I just give y'all too much game? This is the game drink change. I told you that too. I told you that too. I told you that this is going to be real. Like, I had a dude that once I had the parts of America that really mattered, he would cover the parts, like, you know, who cares about having your shit in Ratchet Google Manga, right? Because like, he fucked you, know, you just, you know what I'm saying? He, he, liked, like, he liked you. No, no, no. no. They were paying no, okay. those payola <laughs> to get the spit. <laughs> so the, oh, shit, I was like, I was like, I was like, happy to have no, 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 but you know what the equivalent of that is right oh. now oh. on the internet is paying for views, paying for likes, paying bots. for comments. Yeah. These, these, these are the people who are No, not even bots. Me and Dre were talking about this today. It's not even just bots. Okay. They got legitimate click farms in these in, in China and yeah. in India where it's legit yeah, you people. You pay them and they just, people. They pay to click your they shit. They tell you, yeah. you tell them, you, I want you to say dope every so often and this right. is hot and fire oh. emoji. Right. And that's what they're going to do. What, what, what does genuine talent do against that? You can't genuine do shit. Genuine talent has it. never been there. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Has never I always been say that. I always say that. That's, 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 that's what the machine is going to always win no, at. You wrote, you, you did it. Yeah, yeah, I got lucky, bro. Let me just tell you. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Can I stop you for five seconds? Yes. And the every time I've mm. ever talked to anybody about anything, mm. the coolest thing that I've ever met anybody who's mm. cool as fuck is said, I got lucky. Mm. I'm going to drink to that. All right, thank you. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Like, especially, because, especially in this fucking era, bro. Like, yeah, I yeah. got lucky, bro. I got yeah, fucking I, lucky. I got bro. lucky because a lot of the times, talent. And, and it, when they say it, good, good, hard work will beat talent whenever talent is not working hard. Yo. That shit is a real. Yo. That shit is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Feedback, you got your birthdays? No excuse. 
Yeah, but I know. Don't don't mislead the people. Remember, Yo, good? hard work yeah, is what leads to love. How good? Hard work creates yeah. love. No, talk, no. It. talk it. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. You work hard. You're consistent, and look. Well, and that's a part of it. Luck <laughs> finds that. Yes, I agree with you. You, you run into love. I work basically. hard as a motherfucker. I want to downplay right, right. My, my work struggle, but at the end of the day, I was relentless. I didn't give a fuck, and I. I received all the, the downfalls with the downfalls. Like, I was just like, all right, cool. I came out every day. I still had a fucking smile on my face. But, um, yeah, this fucking game is, is, is a motherfucker. This game is a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, it's, you not, can it's not for the weak at heart, for sure. Yeah, it's I asked if you guys started this uh, Drink Champs to have that conversation about this game being a motherfucker? Yeah, I think so. I and we, and, yeah. we started, and we started this with no expectations. Yeah. No, you guys, Bullshit. You right. guys yeah. really have some serious yeah. conversations right. about with really right. real artists who have been right. through it, who have said, yo, this game is a fucking motherfucker. Mickey right? Facts, you really trying to finish this rock bottle. I, it's I his fucking you. birthday, man. I respect right. it. I'm watching you. I'm, I'm watching He's going to make sure next year he doesn't yeah, celebrate like this. Dude. Oh, listen, 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 listen. Nope, at the end of the day, at the yeah, end of the day, you're wilding the fuck out. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. And I'm it's drink champs. It's drink you're champs. You're wilding the fuck out. It's drink champs. But listen, Nori. Yes, okay. You remember, remember when we was on um, Clubhouse? You was on Clubhouse? Clubhouse? Yeah. What's Clubhouse? What did I say to you on Clubhouse? <laughs> I forgot. You I, forgot? I was fucked up. Because you was smoking. Yeah, I was smoking. I what smoked did I say to you? I said, listen, we're gonna go viral. Oh, yeah, you did say that. I said, because I respect this platform. Yes, thank you. I respect you as a as a lyricist. I respect Effin as a DJ. Yes, right. I want to Effin too. He I wanted to do some. Hey, listen, <laughs> these are my brothers. Yes. You know, Ash is my brother. I love Ash so much. Yeah. I love Blue so much. I love Ash's glasses right now. Because mm. at this right. point, he knows what's going on. You Ooh. know, I'm drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> Man, you not so drunk I'm yet? Out. I rap. Okay. Are oh, you want to rap? You want to beat? We can't put a beat on, apparently. No, no, no we, we can put a we beat put, on. If it's, if it's original our, beat. It's our beat. Our original oh, beat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, I, don't know gotta, you, I don't know if you could do this. Has, but you, close your mouth and listen. Are we right doing a beat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna, you want to see if y'all got rap still? Right After y'all got, let's do another shot. Let's do another shot. <laughs> Why would you give me another shot if I say I'm going to rap? You just said you're going to rap. You just said you're going to rap. You want to put a beat? Yes or no? I did the you. whole Melvin Flint album fucked up. Keep, keep <laughs> on, man. You're sorry. Yeah. Keep the you. I, I don't even know. He want to rap. That's what he does. Uh, I he rap. Want to rap? He wants to rap. I rap. I love rapping. I'm I'm in a privileged position. That's right. Guys. We are all in a pri- privileged damn, position. Talk that all shit. five of us. God, talk that shit. God God damn. Damn. Pour yourself a shot. To Come be, on, blue. To be Come able to be To be able to to be able to live off of what you love. Absolutely. To live off of what you love. <laughs> we live off what we love. Pour yourself a shot. Right, he's, yo, he's been, he don't, he been pouring yeah, more sorry, shots than we can count. Yeah, Listen, yeah, me I'm and you like, are going to go back to college. Yeah. Yeah. His class you know, weren't even that color. You know, we're going to make back to school. <laughs> I'm in a new You never see you didn't see how you gave the girl back to school? Yes. That's what me and you are going to do. We're going to go back to school. We're going to go back to school. We're going to go back to school. Come on. Listen, man. I know that. Fuck it. We did. Your ass is not playing me. If you could be really be a drink oh, champ, it's if you could really be a drink champ, this is lyrical champs, and we're making a whole good podcast right now. You got to a lyrical drink champs. You got a lyrical champs. You know, yeah. only you ever know, seen the drunken monkey? I said Joe. Hold oh. on. We got to shout out the Organic Food Kings. Oh, yes. I just ate some other guys. Food looks track. incredible. We got the truck outside at Organic Food Kings. Make sure you check them out. Yeah, that's right. right. We're going to be eating them all the time right now. You go on that beat, bro. You want to beat? You want to beat? Just grab the mic from the joint. Just grab the whole. Because that's how you know he a real MC. He just wanted to start his talk. Relax. I said, well. Play a beat. Let me let you know if you like this beat. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Make All right. Right. The people that's capturing this, y'all can hit a beat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Rewind it. Take it from the top. Take it from the top. Cause he ain't even hit. All right. Cause I'm talking about. Has right. do, do the intro. Let's, has shout out the soldier boy. Cause I'm Ooh. the first one to do this here. The first one.
Now we spoke about financial literacy, right? Uh huh. And on Clubhouse, I told you it was going to go viral, right? Yes, we did. Base your eyes on the guy who has no worries about the lies. I'm focused on the prize. Doubt me, get out my way. Haters get left in the wild way to do a do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, listen. God damn, God damn. Shout out to uh, Mickey Red. Aspect, Lakita, Auckland, Sang, Steve, Asher, Blue, Nori, Effin. EFN's cool too, and has it sounds on the beat. Let's do this. <laughs> Base your eyes on the guy who has no worries about the lies. I'm focused on the prize. Doubt me, get out my way. Haters don't left in the wild way to do a die way. Check it. The paper chaser, the money saver, the TD Ameritrader, the Robin Hood hater, the home bidder, the 25% room tipper, mm. the Grant Cardone listener, the loan flipper, the contract getter, the check collector, the debt oppressor, the turbo user who worked as Tesla, the stock watcher, the options copper, the block shopper, the future yacht docker, the car lot plotter, the business owner, the deal closer, the long term holder. Older, the mortgage broker, consultant caller, the office walker, the clubhouse talker, the black supporter, the finance martyr, the song seller, the Bitcoin investor, the ledger checker, the credit union lender, the Wall Street trapper, the black small business backer, the five-year planner, the credit tracker, the debit master, the brand ambassador, kitty credit manager, the country traveler, the brand resume handler, the song seller, the Bitcoin investor, the ledger checker, the credit union lender. <sighs> I just want to record, hit the motto to score, morning more day be these out short, baby boy I'm just a damn fire, when it's campfires, earthquakes and hurricanes, I blame Charlemagne, leak across the water main, Carter Blaine, Charter Blaine, all things, all that came, I can you got it, you, you, you got it, you got it, you got it, nah, I don't got it, <laughs> <laughs> bro, happy <laughs> Y'all got me too drunk, man. Nah, that's beautiful. Man. We got you too drunk. Nah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, I was trying to get it out, but you know that was something that I wrote. Specific. That was dope, and that was over. I could tell you told me it was over a uh, broken language, right? Yeah, broken, broken language. Yeah. Shout out to the you know smooth hustler, smooth hustler, hustler and and the gambler, gambler. Yeah. Shout out to classic guys. record, and uh, I could I could hear the 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 way you were flowing. What's your top five? KRS, hmm. Ice Cube, Woo. Nas, Common. Planet Asia. Nice. Wow. wow. That's dope. That's, that's, that's through Planet out. Asia in there. That's dope. Wow. Crazy. Big up Planet Asia. Hell yeah. Me, Jay Z, Royce the Five Nine. Oh. Lupe Fiasco. Oh. Biggie Smalls. Oh. Nas. Nice. Mm. Me? <laughs> no, uh, your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, top five, uh, Mosef, mm. Black Thought, mm. Noriega. Woo! Oh! Hey! 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 I want your real top five. You don't gotta. No, but for real, bro, you need your flowers. <laughs> you say, you say, hold on, tell no, me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a promoter. Beer on a coaster? <laughs> yeah, make some noise, beer. Because you've been at all the white boy parties. Yes, I've been at all the white boy parties. I just want you to know, bro, you are appreciated. Oh, that's thank all. You, that's man. all, man. Thank you, man. Because, thank like, you. yo, I appreciate that. But real shit, bro. Real yeah. shit. Like, I appreciate you, that, my brother. No, but what uh, you've been able to do as far as the war report, yes. as far as bootlegging the war report, yes, as yeah. far as <laughs> as far as making hit records with Pharrell, yes. as far as doing a, a, a motherfucking podcast. Yes. What the fuck Should is this? Should we take a shot to that? Yo, but let's like, bro, it, my man. guy, dude. Well, yo, 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 let's take a shot. Let's take yo, a shot. Don't, <laughs> don't, 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 uh, don't uh, deflect this shit. Oh, I don't not deflect it. Yo, but it's yo, your day, brother. Yo, oh, how you doing? Come on. Yo, can you get some whiskey? Can I? I'm, yo, I got whiskey. Yo, 
for you. Uh, you. I hate y'all niggas. Yo, <laughs> you're a legend, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Thank a motherfucker. You. You're a legend. Yeah. 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 This just scares me because why does it's oh shit. Uh, Wale's hitting you up? No, uh, uh. no flight. <laughs> it like it's like it's like when you know you got a flight coming up. I ain't got no flight coming up. I, I thought you was they... going to the. I was. <laughs> no, no more. But I wasn't. Okay. So okay. <laughs> Then your, your other the other two <laughs> top five. My other two pop top five or pop five. It's pop five. Pop five. It's, it's I'm a white kid. It's pop five. Uh, um, <laughs> Biggie is is legitimate for me. I like this. And then I, I I would say for me personally, Big yeah. Pun, man. Like Big Pun for me was somebody who I listened to and was like super. Hip. Super dope lyrically, and then also somebody who like put on for what he was about, and like for me that's important. Fuck that. I don't know. You You went to the shop to Nori and drink. Yeah, Yeah, I had so much fun. Let me just say something. I had so much fun. I really think you guys should do an album compilation together. The R. So me and me and Blue have an album together. It's called The Narrative. See, then you gotta have you gotta have my my, my homie. I don't, I'm Ashes, not even Ashes on Ashes on Ashes on the second single called Rain. I need him to be on Ashes. like four records. Y'all gotta shout out Blue. Blue's on Blue's. my album. Blue's on DJ. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it on the joint. I'm gonna manage Ashes This is it. You manage Ashes Rock. In my mind. In my mind. Yeah. Yeah. In my mind. <laughs> I manage your mustache, bro. I'm in. It's a little something. Yeah. 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 Ye
Go that is so great. When we heard blue. What? When we heard That's blue. This is so great. Good. When we heard blue, mm. talk about it. Mm. Larko, we were Marco, like, yo, Carter, bro. bro, like this dude yeah, is fucking. Mean, we thought we. Nah, take it. Nah, take it. 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 Take you need your you need your you flowers, need your flowers God damn. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> for real though, for real though. <laughs> Yo, that Nas album, the <laughs> achievement, bro. That's number one, G. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I, lo- I, I, I love I'm this. I love shit. this, bro. This is what we need more of. Nah, I love this. Nah, I love this. Nah, I love this, bro. Nah, I love this, bro. bro. Nah, I love this, bro. 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 You know, I'll nah. be out here fucking. I'll be out here fucking. Talking behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't, I, I don't need love. I don't need achievement, bro. I want you guys to know that we, you are loved. You are beautiful. Like, we are out here, bro. We are out here. That's all that I'm fucking well, yeah, yeah, bro. Happy well, I want all three of y'all. Yo, no, know. you fucking no, know. No, no, no. I want all three of y'all to know. Y'all much appreciated. You are. No. I was, I was, I was, uh, No, I just want to say, like, one thing that, that, that I think is common here in this table right now, yeah. and, and what I appreciate most, what I always loved about hip hop, is authenticity. That's it? Totally that, is the, that is the most important thing to me. In hip hop is authenticity that sometimes is lost. Say it again. And each and one of you exhibit that. Yep. And and, and in Drink Chance, we try to to amplify that. Yep. And and thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Happy birthday, Mickey Fast. I'm doing another Mickey shot. Mickey Fast, you fucking up, bro. Yeah, nah, nah, he did exactly. Nah, nah. That's that yeah, that's that Cali. That ain't the point. That ain't the point. Nah, 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 n